You look like a TJ when you bring shatter and oh. beer. All right, we're starting the show. Uh, welcome. It's the Rob Show. Uh, that's the brought to you by T-Mobile. Yeah, brought to you by, I wish, man. I bet T-Mobile pays. Twisted T-Mobile. Uh, joining me on the couch this evening, TJ Noonan returns. What's going on? Say hi to everybody. And for the first time, and I'm excited, Chris Machado, ladies and gentlemen. Say uh, hi to everybody. What's up? Chris. I have hair in my mouth. How come he didn't get a clap? I don't deserve I, I, one. I, I, did you clap for him? Uh, no. No. <laughs> would you clap for him? No, <laughs> I, didn't clap for my, I didn't clap for myself either. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, That would be an odd move if you no. clap for yourself. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to join us tonight via the phones, 239-300-2320. We're live on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. We are there on Twitter as well. Chris Machado holding his, mic, uh, holding his headphones. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to mess up I his wanna beautiful do, I want to do one of these. Oh, if I need to hear something, I bet, uh, the old school. Radio I think his move, dick to needed one. to hear something. Yeah. Sold it right by his D. This is how. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's like, my dick needs something to do while we're here. Yeah, right. You're gonna hang yeah. it there. Yeah. I don't have enough to hang the headphones. There. <laughs> Even if I was full erect, it would slip right off. Yeah, me too. But yeah. we don't have to talk about that. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we can talk about that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's a lady present. I forgot. By the way. <laughs> oh yeah. Chris's cool. lady friend is here. Her name is Janessa, and without even missing a beat. Uh, TJ burps right within first five <laughs> minutes of meeting her. Just loud ass burp. It doesn't even say. Oh, yeah. Who Hi, am I trying me. to impress? Yeah. The we, met, we met when I shit my pants. So it's oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I like she's that. Cool, she's cool. I could tell. T- TJ was wondering whether he sh- looks like a Thomas or if he looks like a TJ. <laughs> yeah. And I thought Chris is line right before we went on that well if you weren't carrying the bag of beers with you you would look like a Thomas. Thomas. but otherwise yeah you look yeah what do you think this guy used to do for a living he used to have a job he no longer well i mean he's back, he does kind of what what was my former profession um is it something that's going to surprise me no i don't think oh so. uh <laughs> sold <laughs> weed <laughs> yeah that too but no i'm a pool boy Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. He looks like <laughs> he's got the pool boy body, yeah, yeah. the looks, Florida yeah. white trash tan. Yeah, that's right. just like your new. Fuck sk- my wife while I'm away. Yeah, <laughs> those are my favorite videos. Mm. Yeah, they're called Hot Wife, by the way. Oh, it's a what? It's a genre. Oh, there's a whole genre of men that uh, their wives then have sex with other men in front of them, and it's not cuckolding because cuckolding is where it's humiliating to the man, and he doesn't want to be part of it. But the wife's like, "You're gonna sit there and watch it while I do it with like five guys at one time." But the hot wife is the husband is sharing his wife. So it's like so, Mormon. Oh. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a Mormon. Well, the reverse, yeah. <laughs> Mormon pool yeah. boy porn. porn. That's yeah. good. Uh, Chris, you know what Mormons do? Go ahead. What? The they magic do underpants? called um, uh, soaking. It's where they're allowed to put it in, but they're not allowed to move. So what they... Mormons. What do you mean? Like they put it in the vagina. The, the, so this they is a, put a their, way of having sexual intercourse. When a man loves a woman, he puts his penis in the vagina. But it, when they're Mormons, they're not allowed to move if they're not married. But you can hire someone to jump on the bed. They Soaking. also can't drink coffee while they're having sex. <laughs> Soaking refers <laughs> to penetration without thrusting. Students See, at Mormon things, universities right? engage in the practice as a loophole form of sexual activity that apparently doesn't merit confession or rep- I told you I know They've things. never heard of anal? What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> we never had any girls in our school. Like, they always used to say, well, girls did that. But I didn't. did you know any girls in school that were down no. with doing that? No. Doing anal? Yeah. I yeah, couldn't like find a girl to do anything, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you're a good-looking man, but, like, I've seen fo- – this sounds yeah. odd. I've seen photos of you when you were in high school, and you were a stud. Yeah. You were, like – you looked like an just, athlete. I was doing a lot of soaking. <laughs> big soaker i was uh, yeah, i was a super soaker <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah i don't it's weird the mormon religion i didn't know that they did that Chris super soaker machado we had a girl it. in our high school that had um we used to call it backdoor sex mm-hmm. uh because we didn't anal sounds so dirty i mean that's the proper term right yeah I mean, like if, if a were, doctor were to tell you, <laughs> yeah, you had yeah. anal sex, yeah. uh, but it just sounds odd. So we used to call it backdoor, which sounds even worse. <laughs> yeah. And there was a girl that had backdoor in a hammock. Her name was Dana. My friend started dating her and then everybody started calling her Danal. 
because oh, that's really good. behind oh, her back. God. But he forgot and slipped one time and called her Danal to her face, and she never talked to him again. And I don't think if you're a girl that is referred to as Danal and your boyfriend calls you Danal by accident. I can't believe anyone can have anal sex in a hammock, though. I know. it's That's a, very a, impressive. She earned the Danal. It should be Danal <laughs> DR. Like, that's unbelievable. Right. That's impressive. Jesus. I wonder what she does today. Probably not <laughs> anal in a hammock. It's a lot of she show probably walks funny. That's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris is a very funny stand-up comedian. Yeah. Originally Correct. from where? Uh, Boston. Boston. You're Boston. down here now. You have a Sprinter camper van that's in my driveway. Yes. It is a ma- What year it's is amazing. that van, man? It's a 2018. It's not a Sprinter. What is it? Because I can't afford a, the Mercedes version. It's okay. a ProMaster, like a built-out ProMaster. A built-out ProMaster. Got a shower in there? Shower, toilet. I never use either one of them. Really? Yeah. The only the only time the toilet ever got used was a stripper uh, peed in it without my permission. And then she went into my pantry and wiped her vagina with my flour <laughs> tortillas. She, oh. she didn't have toilet paper because you don't ever use the bathroom in she it. She probably doesn't know what toilet paper was. Oh, she was yeah, this was like deep, seedy uh, Tampa uh, strip club. Which one? Flower. Dollhouse? It was a black one. Was it the one with the spaceship on top? No. Oh, okay. No, that's, no, that made, this place, oh. like, the stripper pole was a support beam. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, like, the support beam holding up the thing. Um, wow, that's, a, I had so many questions. <laughs> I know, right? First of all, why, I know, my, I'm my more interested in, because I bought a van that has a toilet in it for the sole purpose of using the toilet, because I don't ever want to use public restrooms, yeah. but you're the opposite. You're like, no, nah, I'm never going to shit in this ever. Yeah, no, it, it's it's a nice thing to be like, look, I have a toilet, but I, no, no not way. even an emergency. Would you all rather you do a shit in public restrooms? Yeah. Well, because you're yeah. on the road all the time. You yeah. bought that so you can travel the country and do stand up yep. and then the country shut down because of COVID-19. Yeah. So Which it's- is better because that's like the best time to have something like this. Yeah. The camper van. No well, because you don't have rent, I guess. But where are you parking it? Wherever I want. It's all like uh, detailed out. So it just looks like a regular van. Yeah. So I, uh, But you also got like what? Uh, don't you have solar panels on top or something so that you can charge it? Yep. I don't use them. Really? No, no, I use those. Oh, I was going to say, because I, I bought a generator. I put a $6,000 generator on the bottom of mine, which is the worst place to put it, because when you're riding, you're just flicking shit up at the generator as yeah, you drive. Yeah, why'd you do that? I, they were but, like, this yeah. is the best place to put it. And I was like, well, you must know your job is to put generators in RVs, so I'll take your word for it, but they were fucking wrong. It's yeah. terrible. I yeah, remember that makes no sense. the first month that I bought it, I had to drive up to South Carolina, and I drove through a flood, and the entire the whole time I'm driving, I'm going, well, there goes that $6,000 fucking generator generator mm. that's underneath the van that's just getting soaked in water <coughs> uh but i like i like having a van it's fun to go and do that but i could never live in it full time it's not enough space you're able to live in that full time yeah. by yourself by it's myself big, i do yeah man. we got our airbnb because two is not good yeah it. there's yeah, not yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of moving yeah, room right no, especially with a no well with the toilet would be getting used for sure so what <laughs> yeah. what have you been doing uh I since since you since the world shut down you can't do stand-up I, I've done a few things. I did, uh, like, uh, casinos. Casinos are still open. Um, but, yeah, most of it, that's why I came down here. Odd. Because you guys are, uh, you don't give a fuck about <laughs> yeah. any Anything. of it. Yeah, no, go ahead. Really what's, normal. what's it like in Boston and up there? Because you were up north. It's just shut down. Oh, it's yeah, it's very So there's down. no comedy. There's nothing to go do. No. Are the bars open? No. Wow. No. That was, so what do you do? Like, I mean, how many? Leave. You get yeah, fuck, you get the your fuck fucking van to come here. How yeah. long were you up in quarantine where you couldn't go do anything? Probably like nine months. Because here, Damn, we, son. I mean, it literally was, there was like six weeks where it was kind of like, oh, maybe you shouldn't go out if you don't need to. But people still did. Yeah. And then it just went right back to open. Like, it was one day they were like, ah, yeah. we don't worry about it anymore. <laughs> fuck right. it. COVID's gone. <laughs> don't worry about it. The president said you can bleach your butthole and yeah. it'll go away. We're You're all going to get it. Yeah, well, that's what they said. Yeah. Everybody, every, every person I've met now goes, I think I got it. Yeah. Oh, I think I had it back in yeah, January. You said that. that. Yeah, well, if everybody, they're all fucking doctor. I, first of all, they were all, it's Facebook. It's the age of social media. Everybody's an expert on everything. I'm a doctor when I want to talk about COVID. I'm a fucking political science major when I'm pissed off about Trump. It's yeah. that's why I signed off my phone. I deleted it off my phone. because Well, I, I never had I social can't. media. I get yelled at by club owners. They're like, you're yeah. not promoting it. I'm like, I have Facebook. It my grandmother be. and mother know about the show. I like, don't understand. It used to be, I hey, went to it, look you up, and there was... Not very much on you. There's nothing. There's nothing. That's, I mean, but the thing is, you're funny enough to the point where that shouldn't matter. It's weird that yeah. it does. It's weird that there's comics who get booked just because they have a large social media presence, but then you put them on stage and they can't do fucking 30 minutes and yeah. they're headlining shows and selling yeah. that shit out because they have a whole huge following on the YouTube. You get the, the YouTube followers, yeah. 
Those are fun, though, because it's fun to bury someone that everyone came to see, and they're like, oh, I don't really like that guy. Have you done that before where you went <laughs> oh, up yeah. in front of a social I media influencer? Oh, oh, man, what's his name? He does, uh, he's probably watching this. Um, <laughs> he does, like, the like, monster energy that. thing. Nah, I know. <laughs> no one, first of all, no one's watching yeah. this. Hey, fuck off, TJ. You don't see the numbers I do. <laughs> it's Thomas now. Yeah, no, sorry. That's Thomas. Right. Leave it's Thomas alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a guy that does what what kind of videos? On, he, like TikTok? You would know him if you saw him. TikTok, YouTube? Yeah, there was a line around the, the fucking block for it. I know. And then he was like, oh, this isn't YouTube. It was real bad. Yeah, so it he got up there bad. and he just eats dicks, and you yeah. go up before him and you just I went up before and him. And dig a and hole. And just destroy <laughs> That's great. Dig a big hole. Yeah, it was good. It was I've, fun because it's two different mediums. Like, yeah. I'm not going to medium. I said medium like a fucking Miss Cleo. And he said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he said, yep, medium. It's uh, 2 95 an hour. Exactly. Why did it sound uh, Indian? <laughs> that sounded more packed. Uh, 95 <laughs> I am black. Look at me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I like fried chicken. It's so good. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. First of all, we're canceled now. Uh, we, we weren't. We never began. So you yeah. can't cancel something. That you can't yeah, Try it. Um, <laughs> fucking try it. Yeah. Where do you guys look? Do you look at each you. other? What? <laughs> it's weird having the camera because I don't know if I can just look at you. Look wherever you, you want. I can just look wherever I used to. I just moved the camera here because it was always here, but I always look over here and I go, he it's just side it of my up. face. It doesn't matter. No, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um,. I, when you did the, I got confused and distracted by the, Sorry, by the racist Pakistani accent of Miss Median. Oh, okay. So open it for a YouTuber. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? I've never done one of those shows, but I there was a comedian that I worked with that said that he did a show in Miami where they had like half the room sold, and then there was a guy that was a YouTuber or influencer that was in town. And they found out the show was going on, said, hey, can I come up and be on stage for five minutes and literally sold the rest of the room out. When you go up it's on unbelievable. stage. So there were, it was a sold out show. They all show up to see the guy and then yep. he eats dicks for 15 yep. it minutes. Was bad. He ended up just playing his YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, well. It's like, what That's a terrible oh. idea. That's fucking terrible. It was really funny. Uh, well. So you don't do social media at all. It's a guy, like I had to delete it because I go, I spent so much time just staring and scrolling at different nonsense. Usually it's Twitter, just looking at other people's yeah. comments and shit. And I went, why the fuck do I care what any of these people think? I tried to get a Twitter and I literally oh. couldn't figure out how to use it. At I'm, all. Like I'm I, envious. I had no idea how to use it. I, I really wanted to get a Twitter because I like writing little, yeah. you know, clever little things. Yeah, and if you and do it the right way, it's led to people having TV shows. I, that's what I always read. Well, if you're on TikTok, it'll Chris lead to Machado, this. Chris you'd be fucking great at it. That's what people tell me. I'm telling you. But apparently, I just not. <laughs> I can't. Mean, you can't even I don't know how to fucking use it. <laughs> I got the login part down, and then it's like, go ahead and tweet. I'm like, I can't. You and the president are the only two people (laughs) not on Twitter right now. You can't get on if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody says, get on the TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know what that is. And then my buddy's like, man, you got to get on the Discord and then have the Discord. You could be doing Discord on your show where people are commenting and chiming in. And I went, I have no, I look, I know radio, I know podcasting, the rest of this yeah. I'm learning as I go. Yeah, there's but too much of it, man. They make serious money, there's man. There's different yeah. branches, man. There's, like, it's it's not what it used to be, like. Well, there's different ways to get to the top now. It used ways, to just yeah. be, be the funniest guy at every club that you go to, and, and eventually then you're, and then you'll then get And then you get noticed. a sitcom, and then blah, blah, blah. You think Rodney Dangerfield had Twitter? Fuck no. The guy was just What's fucking up your camera? Why don't you get it? Why, why is your light not on? I don't need it, I, and I forgot. You're telling him how to run this? Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, place. he becomes director. Because <laughs> <No, like, laughs> I want your face to look as shiny yeah, what's as going mine. On? It's your, already uh, shiny. Your V5 chip is hanging out of yeah, your computer I know. there. No, I, thought, I thought maybe you didn't powder up or something. I don't know. I don't put makeup on. I don't know. I know. Why would he need to? You're 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 a natural beauty. Yeah. I, I, who wants yeah, to like clog that. these I can't pores Twitter, up with foundation? Hashtag no, fil- no filter for sure. <laughs> Thank He's you. He's the most beautiful garden gnome I've ever seen. Fuck your face. You can't <laughs> use my own joke against me. Is that your yeah, joke? Yeah, you just oh, lifted my own material and then used I it I did again. not know I lifted you. You must be a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll go kill myself. In sad now. news, Dustin Diamond is sick. Not that that has Aww. anything to do with YouTubers, but he does comedy, and I don't know if you've ever worked with uh, the Diamond. Yeah, I met, met him once. He was times. a dick. But he was a dick to you. No, I think he was really busy. Whatever. Like he, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm Maybe if I you met ran him in one a, time, I'm if you not ran into Mario Lopez, and he was a dick. I ran and you into said he was ma- busy. I'd get it. But what screech up to? Oh, did, he did, was at Howl. I think he had some. Uh, Coke to go snort or something. Like okay, that. well, that's not... Okay, well, I'm going to have to cut your mic off with that one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I get sued because TJ goes, oh, Screech is doing Coke. He's uh, he's almost I'll dead. Wait till after he's dead. Was. Okay. Wait, he's that sick? They say he... 
According to TMZ, he has all kinds of body pain, and his mother had cancer. Why'd you laugh at that? His mother has cancer. I like him. This or had cancer. Yeah. He laughs at cancer. Just the word cancer. Just a fit of giggles. And stitches. Yeah. Um, his mother had cancer, and he said he had all of this un. Descri- uh, unexplainable body pain all over, so they're running tests, but he believes that it's cancer. Uh, again, I don't yeah, know about Yeah, I think I have cancer every time I have <laughs> anything. I, my back hurts, and I'm like, Caitlin, I think I got back cancer. Is that a thing? And she's yeah. like, no, you're yeah. just fat and yeah. out of shape, and yeah. that's what happens. I went, well, you're rude. I think everything's cancer. All yeah. right, so Screech is a hypochondriac. Let's yeah. all and fucking care about it. Well, he's in the Follow hospital. It is. Yeah. I wonder if we get a hold. I think... I've been in the hospital, too, for fucking. the same thing. Well, for I've been cancer. in the hospital... 40 times for anxiety. We can definitely get a hold Seriously? of it. Oh, my God. I would go to the ER. I'd be like, I can't breathe. I have cancer. They'd be like, you have nothing. Are we pussy. really calling Screech right now? I'm looking to see if I have his phone number. Oh, my God. Because I remember I, I booked him life. for radio. Yeah. Let him talk to Thomas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should just. <laughs> Talking shit, bro? Uh, now that I have cancer, you want to go? No, I don't have no, Screech he's, he's saved. He's a big guy. I don't want to fuck with him. D- is Dustin I'm Diamond? I'm not a tough dude. I, I just talk shit, under but I don't do shit. Um, yeah, anyway, I met him once. He was a nice guy. It yeah, he was nice to me, too. But it was yeah. weird. He just doesn't he was a dick to me, dude. What, he did it. clean no, no, his pool like, and fuck like, his wife? No, you know what he did? He probably was like, what's up, Screech? Like, that guy hasn't fucking yeah. heard no, that no, his no, entire no, no, no. life. Yeah. I'm 100% like a, a cognizant. Where's Lisa that? Turtle, motherfucker? Like, I could uh, see you being a complete. No, no, no. I was like, hey, Dustin. <laughs> like you know I was what? fanboying out. He'd probably him. rather be called okay. Screech. And, hi, Dustin. Uh, hi, <laughs> Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Can I, get, uh, can I smoke a bowl with you, sir? <laughs> I love you so much. I hope you never get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, it'll be funny. <laughs> and I'll talk about it on a podcast when I was very prolific. Uh, there was a weird move that he had. He was in a sex tape. He The Screech Saved by the Bell He's dong got a big tape. old dong. Well, according to him, he that looks was, like he has a big dong. He says yeah, that yeah. that wasn't his penis; that this was a stunt penis that oh, he shit. used. Oh, for where do the I get one of those? Film. I don't know. <laughs> all right. That's what I need. Stunt one penis at all times. That'd be so cool. Do a little foreplay, call him the stunt penis. <laughs> yeah, come on. In. Yeah, you do the rest. Uh, uh yeah, it was very odd because you could tell he like. I mean, that's a lie. Dream. That's an absolute lie. There's no such thing as a stunt. I mean, maybe there was some creative editing, but I watched the porno tape. You know what's weird? I work for a guy named Bubba Love Sponge. You know Bubba. He had similar setup. He had a much bigger TV across the studio so you could see everything. So yeah, Bubba was deal. sitting there breaking down the porn tape in front of Screech, and Screech is like, well, that's not my penis. And Bubba's going, that's clearly your penis. I can <laughs> see it. And he's like, it's not my penis. And Bubba's like, come on, say it. Cuzzy, it's your pick. Come on, oh, Cuzzy. Okay. I love how everyone's seen this except me. What, the Screech porn yeah, tape? Yeah, let's go. Get it going online. Oh, uh, we... Get kicked off Twitch. No, I, I can show it over here. We can, yeah, we can sit here. They can't even okay. see my hand. I can Screech. do whatever I want. Porn. No, don't they do can. that. Oh. <laughs> I think they'd have a the problem. They see I can't see this. All of a sudden, your shirt's just going He's like jacking that. jacking off like crazy. Uh, Screech porn tape. Screech is sexy. Yeah, first, uh, first thing. He looks like... Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Uh, Jeez. Let the party begin. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, damn. Uh, you, oh, you want to see it? I, I can't. see the monster? Is yeah. it showing? Yeah. Ah! 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 Hold on. Ah! <laughs> that was was that a candy necklace they were putting on? <laughs> um, uh, here's the problem. is that. Oh, wait, let me cut away from me, and I'll just do you guys, and that way I can show it. Without... That was a Magnum condom. No, kit. hold on. No, that I was mean... a candy necklace, the, the ones you eat around the thing. All right, we'll just do... Cri- uh... Or it was a stunt necklace. All right, there. Okay. I'll just... <laughs> There's no way to really... It is a candy necklace. Unfortunately, the it only, is. The only wow. way I can show this, because this screen gets picked up by that camera, so all you see is Screech's dick if I show me. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to show you, so Good it's nothing catch, but dude. you on the reaction of okay. the Screech porn. Right. Not gonna that is a nice penis, Screech. <laughs> so, I mean, they're not even eating the candy. It's just going to get steamed oh. up. Now this is where Screech said, no, that's not me. That's a stunt penis. All right. Wow. Okay. I don't think that blue thing was his penis. I'll uh, give him I that. Think- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some ground is stand Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a stunt vagina for sure. Yeah. Uh, oh. I cannot believe what oh my God. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That doesn't look Grown like Screech. Grown men watching porn together. That looks like Jesse. Oh, yeah, that is, it is weird. Sorry, and I forgot there's a lady here, guys. Oh, yeah. a lady I couldn't here. see it because of the screen. She loves seeing her work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers when she taped this. This is the only thing that makes it not gay. Exactly. Yeah, we're not gay, guys. Uh, 
Because there's a shit game. Well, really there's like. not a lot of screech. Where's the screech? Yeah, we're not getting much screech, but you know what? That's the last thing right. I wanted anyways. Really? That was the whole reason yeah. I wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. Screech in a hot tub. This is, yeah, this is cute. I don't know what's in the fridge. Oh, it would still be good. I can that show long. Screech for one second. He's going to go immediately to his phone. Could you imagine making love to that man and going, you know what? I need this on film. Yeah. I need to make sure that there is a recording well, of this we forever. we all know someone who's made love to that man. Would you rather make love to one of the girls from the Two Girl, One Cup video or the girl who banged Screech on film? Because eventually you're going to have to explain that to your friends. I, I, I don't like eating poop. It's so like you would I go draw screech the line instead. Poop. Yeah, Screech's screech is second yeah. sloppy seconds. Yeah, I take Screech's yeah. sloppy oh, seconds. For okay. sure. Yeah, I would. I like. Especially, she's gonna taste like that candy necklace. <laughs> I like that. So this is good. <laughs> Get a little candy necklace in there. Two three nine three hundred twenty three twenty. If you would like to join Call us, in, Dad. Your dad is watching again. I don't know. Why do you say weird things then? <laughs> it's very bizarre. You just like, I, do you have Tourette's? Oh my god. Oh, autism. That's right. You yeah, for, I little, forgot. Oh, you have autism. I'm a, I'm a little bit on the spectrum. I should be more understanding of your That's disabilities. Good. You should be. We haven't talked about money. I'm a co-host now, and I feel like I deserve big money. Yeah, okay. If this starts making any of it, you could get some, but that's probably not going to happen. And I, you're easily replaceable. With, like, with, with I'm content gonna, like that. You know, what? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to end up recording your laugh, and I'll just play that in the background and fire oh. you. And pretend. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Hello. When he likes to do his Ed McMahon. Well, I'm... Oh. Hello. Who's Ed McMahon? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, is he young enough to understand? No. You know, Johnny, I really don't know who You he really is. don't know who Ed he McMahon really is? Bullshit. The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson? I know The Tonight Show. Okay. With Johnny Carson. Oh. I know Johnny Carson. Okay, the co-host that just sat there and laughed. Interesting. Ed oh. McMahon, Star Search. I thought it was the wrestler guy. Vince McMahon. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the you're fired okay, guy. Okay, okay. That's also Trump. Yeah. So they both, I mean, that was a very popular Trump thing. McMahon. <laughs> Did you know that Trump is actually in the World Wrestling Federation Hall of Fame? Should be. He should be in the Presidential Hall of Fame. Oh, you think greatest president ever? By by far. <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about this. By We're not. He, I can state the back facts. Back to the porn. And he has back been Back to porn. He <laughs> we're allowed to talk about dicks and pussy. We're just not allowed to talk about wow, politics. Why does it sound so weird when you say it, man? Because I am weird. I hate when anyone other than myself or the girl that I'm with says pussy. It's just mm. a weird. I fucking hate it. Yeah. Like when guys I brag about that. like oh, getting laid, and they're like, it. "Yeah, I fucking slam that." So I'm like, "Jesus <laughs> oh, Christ, geez. you're trying to fuck me? Yeah, what is right. happening? Why are you <laughs> being so vivid and graphic?" Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, I know, especially if they're in a relationship with the lady, and then you like have to talk to her. Like if it's just some chick yeah, that, that is weird. If I'm like, "Hey guys, yeah, I was having sex with Caitlyn last night. I slammed oh, that pussy," oh, and geez. then she comes in, and she's like, "Would you guys like waters?" It's like it's <laughs> oh, a very, yeah. she's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, dirty slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. said some weird shit on Monday. What, me? Yeah, you. Yeah. About what? Caitlin. Uh, can you elaborate? You said, well, we haven't had sex in so long, I had to pry her vagina open. Well, yeah, I mean. And then, yeah, you, then, then you, you have a kid. Like, <laughs> like that. That's what happens after you have. You should know. You have two kids. Yeah, yeah. You 17 stop years doing that. Children? Yeah, that's I know. That, that was my response. And he's actually... <laughs> He was in charge of them. You know what? Was he was the stay at home dad. I'm a horrible dad. husband, a great father. Did you know that he oh, was good. married to a respiratory therapist for how many years? 17. 17 years. I did 19. That. I did. 19. Do you know what caused their divorce? Uh, pff, Jesus. <laughs> you don't watch a podcast, do you? Oh, man. No, uh, what His wife got addicted to Disney. And she kept spending. It tons. was me, motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> Mickey Mouse ended up ripping their their family apart because they'd go for these thousand dollar weekend trips, and they almost lost the house over it. And she came to him one day and goes, "I spent all the money at Disney." And he was like, "Oh, I'm just going like this." <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh, well, that's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. All right, and that oh. ends that segment. Yeah. <laughs> there, there. <All> right. <laughs> Thomas is Thomas. All right. I'm sorry, TJ. I don't know what to what? call you. Dude, call me whatever. He you has do. kids. He's a Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Sometimes I'm I didn't a know that. I saw the bag of beer and I was like, that's TJ. Assumed TJ. <laughs> yeah, right. But he has offspring, so he yeah. has, he's forced Two to be them. a Thomas. An offspring. Our kids in the card for Chris Machado. Yeah. You want them? Yeah. Yeah, I probably have uh, several. <laughs> you just don't have <laughs> yeah. a relationship in with any city. of them. No, I send them money. 
<laughs> yeah. Five dollars in a card. Hey, happy, happy birthday, sport! You know, <laughs> sport. Yeah. Are you raising them in the sixties? Yeah. <laughs> good, good job, sport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, comedy in that that vehicle, you, dude. I guarantee. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> throwing it down. <laughs> Are you throwing it down? Uh, oh, dude, it. this other this girl the other night, fucking that pussy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pussy, pussy, yeah. pussy. Uh, uh, so, I can't even listen to myself. So hot. <laughs> this is a really good one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't dirty talk. Not even in bed. It's just not. You're still holding your uh, headphones by your D. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Why do you keep staring at his dick? I think yeah, that's more of the question that we need to ask. I think gay. we know oh, what really I'm fucked his marriage up. He's like, it's Disney's fault. No, you keep looking at every guy's <laughs> dick that you walk across. I'm super gay. Why are you, you holding that me? Starbucks by your dick? He's I'm like, super, dude, I don't even know who you are. I'm super <laughs> gay. Uh, super gay. It's okay. Um, I'm doing it because... Hot topics. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, shit. sorry. Your, right. your co-host is freaking me out, dude. <laughs> He's freaking me out, too. Um, all right, I got stuff we can talk about. I got things we can do. If you want to call in, 239-300-2320 to join us. Chris Machado is on the couch. Uh, TJ Noonan is on the couch. Uh, we're live on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube as well. Nothing to promote. Maybe with Pauly Shore at Fasani's oh, at the end of the month. Chris Machado, we're not sure. He's trying to get an answer on that. If I get a confirmation, I'll, I'll let people know to go. Otherwise, don't go to that place. Worse food. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> no. But, but if I'm, I'm there, it'll be fantastic If I'm there, food. it'll be good. Yeah, they have me cook first. and Yeah, no, that place is amazing. Uh, I really enjoy no, going there. Too. I was there for Brian Callen last week. and I, yeah, I heard there. Grillo was there. Who? From uh, Kingdom. Grillo? Yeah, the guy, the main character from the Netflix show Kingdom. I don't watch that show, so I don't even... So he was there and everyone was freaking out and you're just like, eh. Well, I was there Thursday. I wasn't there the whole weekend. Oh, okay. I was there one okay, night. Okay, you missed him then. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I missed the big... You missed the big grill. There was a celebrity <laughs> in Port Charlotte. That's... I think that... Yeah. <laughs> I get why yeah. there's... I get why Brian Callen's there. Why the fuck is Grillo there? Well, he, that's I a fight show that. and Callen is a... He does martial arts, so he's oh, pro- so probably he came friends. out. Yeah, they're probably him. friends. Yeah, well, it's yeah, always Brian weird. Callen does martial arts. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. He does. He's in great shape. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he's really an older dude, arts? and like he was a, like cut. I was like, man, what's oh, up, yeah, no, Brian he... Callen? Good looking fella. Yep. Like I've seen him on like um, the Joe Rogan where they do the um, the episode where they watch the fucking fights, but like <laughs> they always make fun of him for his martial arts because he. Doesn't really do. Yeah, well. You go make fun of Brian Callen. See what the fuck the old round house kick you to the fucking face and then choke you out with his fucking dong. Yeah, oh, I don't know why it would go straight to that. <laughs> uh, because he's gay. Oh my god! He'll <laughs> oh, make me sit on his. I lap. was trying to make him come just from talking about. Oh, I didn't uh, do anything dong. to him, but I got a boner. No, nah, that's good. I got a chub. That's yeah. why I'm holding this right here. So you yeah, can, yeah. You can cover it. No one can see my erection. Yeah, well, Thomas can. He keeps looking. Yeah, TJ. Yeah. TJ Not looks at other looking. men's penises. Thomas. He would know. have none of those shenanigans. I like how I'm two different people. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story. Here's the weird part. The story came out in October, but they're just reporting on it as of uh, January 11th, so two days ago. The headline from Vice, Your cock is mine now. All right. Hacker <laughs> locks <laughs> internet connected chastity cage demands ransom. So apparently, I mean, none of these were attached. Here's what it is. Let me pull up a photo. I thought so that was a fucking it. shaver. Right? It looks <laughs> like too. it's an electric cha- Absolutely. That looks, that's hilarious. That looks like Braun made that. It's called the cellmate. It is a chastity cage cellmate. that people put on, and then it's remote controlled via Bluetooth from a cell phone. That's funny because my cellmate used to fuck me whenever he wanted to. <laughs> so you didn't need the chastity yeah, nah. belt. You were begging for one. Oh, yeah. put, please put a chastity belt on this guy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, it, so I guess you can remote, oh, I don't want to show that picture. You can remote like control. You're like, and I was only there for two days. Other, <laughs> I was there for three hours and the guy <laughs> fucked me 18 <laughs> times. I'm like, wow, I can't stand a whole weekend. <laughs> I guess there was a hacker that broke in a victim who asked to only be identified as Robert. That's great. Oh. Said that he received a message from a hacker demanding a payment of 0.02 Bitcoin around $750 to unlock the device. 
He realized his cage was definitely locked and he could not gain access to it. The good news, nobody had it on their penises when the <laughs> when the devices got that locked. That is good news. But That's good news in any news story. <laughs> what, that the device was not on the penis? No matter what the story is. The good yeah. news is it wasn't attached to anyone's penis. There's actually a video of how you can... Of his, oh, God. No. <laughs> I, get, I got enough penis for the day. <laughs> All right, so you get a, the Qui app. You register... And then you buy the chastity device. You have to verify it, create an account. That's, you don't want that. Imagine if you forget your password and then you have to go on to cellmate.com and then you have to, oh, I Do forgot my password. Do we have to password. bring technology into every facet of life? I don't know, man. I we need a Bluetooth fucking chastity belt? I didn't realize people were using chastity belts, but yeah. I guess it's a thing like where guys, it's big yeah, in the BDS like, yeah. M community. You put it on your penis and then if you get hard, it, it hurts. Well, Oh, that's that's like my jeans my girlfriend got me every this single Fitbit? day. <laughs> my girlfriend got me a Fitbit only to know when I'm jerking off. Oh, I, oh I, really? Yeah. Nice. And, and where, is she, where is she now? At Disney? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I, I enjoyed your joke way more than his. Uh, Thank, that is yeah, funny. I did, I did too. Yeah, thanks for stepping on my laughs, dude. <laughs> and I, I'm very sorry. You got to pull back. No. At, did you ever see Ed McMahon step on fucking Dangerfield's lines on the Tonight no, Show? That's, no, that's a I have a lot crime. to learn. Oh. So I apologize about that. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get the chastity belt. He's earned it. All right. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> they say that so many people, the, the company, uh, Quii, the China-based manufacturer of the of device. Uh, <laughs> goddamn China. <laughs> Jesus. Where do the tentacles go? Uh, <laughs> so I guess the, uh, the China-based manufacturer of the device did not respond to a request for comment. A U.S. distributor, a distributor <laughs> sent in an email that the flaw allowed the hacker to lock the victim's cages. However, that flaw has been fixed in the latest version of the app. They received a ton of email from people going, hey, there's somebody saying if I don't give them Bitcoins, they'll keep my cock locked in this device. Uh, <laughs> however, and even they even had a screen grab of a text message. What did the text message say? Uh, That's why you do the updates. God damn it. I had the text message. The text message was very odd. I think it said your cock is now, yeah, your cock is now mine. The hacker told one of the victims, according wow. to a screen scratch. Was it in little, like, uh, magazine letters, cutouts? <laughs> well, no. Your cock is now mine. And then, yeah. Like a ransom note yeah. <laughs> from the 90s. Yeah, um, so we're going to play a game quickly. Oh, God, that's scary. Oh, I love that. Uh, we're going to play Pervert Price is Right. Yes. And the device in Pervert Price is Right is what's before you, the cellmate. I'm going to give you some information about the cellmate. Uh, it is the app-controlled chastity device, the world's first app-controlled chastity device with the cellmate chastity device. It doesn't matter where you are or what you are doing. You as the key master have the power to decide if your submissive is allowed to be unlocked from his chastity. In combination with the app for Android and iOS, you can simply set up the account and link the cellmate to your user ID. Every account has a unique user ID, which can control multiple cellmate devices. When your first cellmate is paired <laughs> to your account, the first message you see is if you want to be a wearer or a key master. The key master decides when the cellmate unlocks. Oh I love that there's a user ID. Like, you can, like, call your friend and be like, hey, can I get your login for my cellmate? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, there's Netflix. This Netflix <laughs> it has a long lasting battery life, eight to 12 months. Uh, there's two ring sizes, a 47 and a 51 millimeter. Uh, I don't, oh, fuck I don't think I would need <laughs> <laughs> just two inches. Or two, yeah. Oh, God damn. Jesus. Metric system. Uh, regular is 9.5 centimeter. That's how long you or big is you there are. A, is there a monthly plan? <laughs> Sure. Do you use data? I'm, I'm, if we're playing Price is Right, I need all the information. Well, I can get, get a... There's no monthly plan. However, you can use one CR2 battery that are included uh, in the packaging. That's however, good since have to I don't know what the them. fuck a CR2 battery is. <laughs> uh, it's a, probably a very odd-looking battery. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, one of the watch batteries. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right. I guess it doesn't need that much power for the chastity Apparently device. Apparently not. All right, so uh, Price is Right rules. Closest to the asking price without going over will be the winner. I know the I asking price, so we'll do Thomas first, or TJ. You guess how much for the cellmate app-controlled chastity device. One dollar. Okay, one dollar. You're supposed to do that. Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll say two dollars, Drew. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. 
<laughs> that was so fucking funny. <laughs> you were so confident, too. One dollar. He's like, I'm going to win this. One dollar. Watch it be one dollar and 50 cents. Uh, I was going to let. I was going <laughs> to let. I just won so easily. Uh, Janessa, Janessa oh, do you want to take a guess? How much do you think it costs? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> That's not fair. She has three of them. One dollar, one cent. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, let me try to actually guess. I, I right. win, though, Like for the record. <laughs> yeah, get, get. I win. I'm going to say that it's uh, $89.99. $89.99. Uh, regardless, <laughs> Chris, you are closest to the asking price. You are the winner. Time is <laughs> lose. <laughs> Uh, one eighty-seven oh, eleven. Uh, wow, people are fucking retarded. Free shipping. Oh, <laughs> and it's okay. In stock, believe it or not, usually ships in three to four days. Just be careful. Make sure you update your version. Otherwise, there's guys that are shaking people Holy down for shit, bitcoins by going, "Hey, God, who the fuck has bitcoins?" <laughs> You don't? No, I should. I want one. Yeah, no shit, but I don't have $5 million (laughs) to buy one. Can I tell you, back in like 2016, my buddy, I... Everyone told me to get picked. Right? And then they were like, and then everybody was like, well, it's too late now. You should have got it two years ago. I have a fucking closet of these things. But now it's become a thing of where like, (laughs) hey, everybody said two years ago it was too late to get it. And now it's six years later. Right. And we could fucking still get it if we needed to. It's just super expensive. By the way, I want to point out, so... That was like a really retarded um, bit. <laughs> and uh, my, le- my something that makes me furious, like to the level that people get about like politics, yes. is on the Price is Right. Okay. When it's the, you know, you're, you're trying to get up on the stage, right? Yeah. They bring out the item and, you know, let's say it's that N64 over there. Someone will be like 50, someone will be like 60, someone will be like 70. When the last person bids higher than everyone else by more than $1, I fucking want to kill everybody. That, <laughs> I, it makes me so angry. 50, 60, 70, 110. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just do 71. What is the point? I you don't want understand. You to murder me right now. I no, no. Yours was, yours was so bad that I just feel bad for you. Yeah, <laughs> yours was like If someone did that, if someone went first and was like, one dollar on that show, they'd, be the best. they'd get committed immediately. They'd be like... <laughs> Did you drive here? Like, they wouldn't let them leave. They'd be oh. like, yeah. Have you ever been on one of those game shows? Oh, I, I made f- you guys laugh. That makes me laugh. Yes, yeah, I don't think you meant to, but it worked out <laughs> either way. Do you ever have anybody, do you know anybody that's ever been on a game show? I know a guy that was on a game yeah. show and won money, and I'm like, oh. man, that must be, because it's just free. It's unexpected money. You have yeah. money that you're accounted for. It's mm-hmm. like the lottery, man. I don't know the first fucking thing about the lottery. Went and spent $32 on losing tickets yesterday, yeah, I but I got them all. I'm ready oh, to look go. at you. Yeah, I got, I got, uh, like four of those, because the per- if the if the Your person in front of me when you're looking at them, you look like an addict. Because I want to win, I I'd, I'd never see you again. I That's only buy money. I only buy lottery <laughs> tickets if the person directly in front of me is like, let me get some lottery tickets. Like, let me get the Mega Millions. I always look at it as a sign, like I should get Mega Millions tickets. And has right it now. ever worked out? <laughs> uh, a couple times. Really? Have you yeah. ever no. won anything? No. I was gonna say. Yeah. Well, you can win like a thousand what? bucks from that and still not win like. The- yeah. Everybody's like, check your numbers. I'm like, I don't. I wish it was like this. Kino, and if you get none of the numbers. Numbers, you still win. I had so you there's can, you can do that. You can pick like twelve numbers. If none of them show up, you win like a decent amount in Kino. You do when you said you do in uh, casinos. Do you do? Uh, I don't know Native American casinos. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, lots of Native them. Americans. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Miss Cleo's <laughs> always there. Uh, no, that's I think that's, that's a, a terrible life. Of Indian. Uh, I had Indian. You Indian literally Indian. sound like you're gonna serve me curry. I am. It's gonna be extra spicy, baby. Um, do that because I remember going. I used to go to Indian casinos with my buddies because we weren't old enough to gamble at the real casinos, but you could be 18 and gamble at the Indian casino. I think you had to be 21 at the time to gamble in Vegas, or there was some why we didn't think gamble in Vegas. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I mean, I do. Uh, it's the Northeast, it's like the Connecticut area, it's the casinos that everyone in like Massachusetts goes to, which is like Mohegan Sun, Foxwoods. Mm-hmm. Do they have they're all? I, I mean, Mohegan Sun. Do you gamble when you go do those? Yes. You do? Oh, no, really? Yeah. Is that a problem? Because, I mean, that's your that's your yeah. income and your I, livelihood. And then I yeah. only play poker, which I like to believe has a decent amount of skill. And are you All good right. at poker? I've only been here two weeks, and I was top uh, split. Well, oh, actually, I can't say that. I came, yeah, in, sec- right. I came in second <laughs> at, a, at a tournament two in a row, two with some fellas. In a row. Yeah, with some. At an well. undisclosed well. location. Yes. That'd be great if they rated. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> what do you guys got going on? We're just playing. We saw you on the Rob show. <laughs> we, yeah. we knew it. He only goes one place. There's ever. just one cop listening to the show. It's yeah. ruined my life. Now it's ruined yours. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, no, I love. No. Um, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, 
I used when we went to the Indian casinos. I lost a shit ton of money playing five dollar hands of war. Remember the game War where oh, you would yeah, flip the cards yeah, over? Because yeah. uh, I'm terrible at poker, man. I cannot play poker. I don't think you were at a casino, dude. No, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking go fish every time. <laughs> Fucking old me. That was my favorite part of the Indian casino. Was there were all these six, I feel like. weird <laughs> games that you could play and win money from that I'd never seen. I grew up in Atlantic City. I grew up around casinos. Oh, I'm sorry. And I never... Oh, I loved growing up in Atlantic City. You're in yeah. right a Motel 6. It was so much fun. It's like fucking Vegas with more herpes. Have you ever done <laughs> oh, any shit. comedy at any of the casinos in Atlantic City? No, I haven't. No, oh, that's... Okay, It'd consider fun, yourself yeah. lucky. I would, I would do it. <laughs> um... I mean, we've done worse. We're going to go do worse after this, right? Yeah, where are you yeah. going oh, after yeah. here? Fucking Jonathan's Burger Hut or wherever the fuck <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Wendy. Uh, yeah, stuff. I'm not going to do the Borgata. I got Johnny's Burger yes, Hut. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn the Indian music off. Please. The, the whole time? You had Indian mu- music <laughs> Yeah, on? you couldn't even tell. What did you say? Johnny's Burger <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. He's a Johnny. He dropped the bag of beers uh, and became good, a Jonathan. Good, good. We can do some dumb dicks in the news <coughs> here. Of oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Just a little bit of a cough. COVID? No. He dead in no. five minutes. Have you had any close yet, calls yet? Done. Have you had any messages from friends going, hey, I tested positive and I was around the you? The guy who hosted the um, mm. the, cas- the casino, like it was like a competition. He hosted it. He died of it. Like, Oh, like, man. Whoa. Was he like pre-existing Hey-oh. condition? <laughs> I mean, he was overweight and probably older, but not really. I don't know. And this was after you had worked. Well, obviously, you worked with him prior to his death. When did you yeah. find out that it was due to COVID? Like, how many days? It was an ongoing thing, like maybe like three weeks after that round that he hosted. No shit. Yeah. Did you have to go get tested? Probably. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I should have. <laughs> yeah, there, oh. there is that weird thing where you're like, well, but then if I do... Then I have to call these people and let them know yeah. that I also it's, tested. It's the same thing as herpes. I, yeah, so, yeah, except but, I think herpes at this point would be a more welcomed phone call than COVID. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, I had the COVID. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I got a quarantine. Hey, I got herpes. You'll have this the rest of your life. Oh, but I can still taste? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Taste these herpes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Taste these herpes, bitch. That's going to be a drop for that, sure. <laughs> your new job should just be to repeat the funny punchlines like a delay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, I, like uh, I have dumb dicks in the news. We'll do some of these, well, and then we'll take a quick break. Uh, uh, yeah, I got to pee like a race. Like a race. Maniac. Like a pee race. Like a pee I got to pee like a race. Guess which, guess which race? <laughs> Indian, correct. One dollar. <laughs> oh, if you had the headphones on, you hear the Indian music again. All right, uh, let me see. Where's the monkey? Yeah, put your fucking. Head. I can hear the ocean. His dick could hear it. Yeah, it could. Oh, uh, nice. No, not this gentleman. <laughs> what do you think this guy was dick. busted for? His name is Nathan Wood. He is That's a very close to Nathan uh, Wallace, so I'm going to say raping kids. Wow, oh. Jesus Christ! No, hold on, we got dropping <laughs> names first of all. Uh, no, I, Nathan <laughs> Wallace is a nice fella. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do you think? Uh, so, all right, so you're oh, going to go something right there. You're going to go guy? involving kids, correct? No, he no, was no. drinking and driving with his kids in did. the car. Nope. No. Okay. He stole Damn. all the glasses with the lenses very close together <laughs> from uh, lens crafters. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Wood <laughs> is a 38 year old sex offender who pled guilty, well, not guilty, to charges of perusing child pornography uh, at the should have a- gone with my first one. <laughs> yeah, at the AT and T store. So nobody was correct on that. Um, he is a convicted sex offender who was slapped with charges after he pulled up an iPad. Look where he's looking, first of all. Well, I mean, this eye is looking straight ahead, but then this eye is looking at the corner of his nose. I want to know what he did. Keep going. <laughs> so he ended up, he spent four hours. He, they say he was, and I quote, glued to the iPad for four hours inside of the cell phone store. After the store closed, employees went and checked the search browser of the iPad, and they found that the sex offender, here, let me pull his photo up here, uh, that the sex offender uh, had been browsing child pornography. They say mm. he visited the dark web to find child porn sites. He used German search terms to bring up the child pornography. They say they found German phrases that allegedly amounted to search terms for images of new children. So I'm sorry to laugh. This I, well, is like I'm, when he laughed about the cancer. Well, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, hey, don't bring me into I mean, this. That's a lot of work to go figure out how to look at those images. you got to learn German search terms. You have to figure He's, out how to get to the dark web. 
And then you have to spend four hours at the iBet. And what are you doing there? Are you masturbating for four? Or is it just like that? He's soaking. Like I the just, Mormons. I love the German search terms. He's just like, nine year olds. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. His eyes are so close together. It's unbelievable. Right? Uh, when police. And he's looking in a really weird way. Uh, Woods also apparently visited sites that showed underage victims being assaulted. So that's no good. Prior to the offending incident, the man had been arrested in 2012 in Boulder County for sexual assault and burglary. He had stolen women's clothing from bathrooms in female dormitories at the University of Colorado. Then he assaulted a woman acquaintance as she slept in a dorm. He was charged with trespassing for starters. Uh, Let's see. He was sentenced to six Trespassing years in prison. for starters? I guess they meant to write more, and they just did it. <laughs> this led to trespa- charges of trespassing for, for starters. Is that like comma, trespassing according- for dummies? They're like <laughs> beginners. For uh, after the incident with the child porn in the store, Boulder cops uh, watched surveillance video, or surveillance <laughs> video tracked them down. When you're they, not using your words right. I know. Well, you're not using your brain. When they <laughs> end up confronting the guy, he attempted to deny ever looking up German search terms for child porn, claiming he must have gotten his German words mixed up. Luckily, there was no penis in the device at the time. <laughs> <laughs> the chastity belt, yeah. Yeah, that's a callback. I know. That was a, <laughs> feel that free was to repeat really it real good. Quick, yeah. Do you have, you're not on brilliant. Facebook, so this next story won't even apply to you. I have Facebook. But you don't use it. Mm, barely. You don't actively like go and friend request people. No, I just drunk dial people on it. Love it. Do you? It is a good access to every single person's every, cell phone. It's kind of a drunk dialer's dream. You can go, well, who's that person? Oh, and then you can just call them. Yeah, because it goes right to people's yeah. phones. Not I mine. drunk dialed Lady Gaga like three weeks ago. Not oh, the ac- how do you get, get a hold of Lady Gaga? It wasn't her. Oh, <laughs> It was probably that guy. <laughs> this guy right here? Hello, Lady Gaga. Uh, this gentleman, his name <laughs> is Caleb Burzek. He's a 27-year-old guy. Uh, ended up getting denied his friend request on Facebook to his former boss. So then he started sending the guy threatening messages like, Hey, man, if you don't accept my friend request, I'm going to come and kill you. <laughs> and then he ended up showing up to the guy's house. The guy said that he felt so threatened, he called the cops. The cops show up, and this guy's like, I just want him to accept my friend request. Wow. Well, I think he showed a lot of initiative and deserves uh, <laughs> a promotion. <laughs> he just sort of said, I'm going to kill you. If, if he didn't add that part, he would have yeah. been fine. Show I'll accept initiative. you, yeah. Paul. Whatever. His name's Caleb, Caleb. clearly. Caleb. If I saw that man, I would go, that's Caleb. That's a Caleb. That's definitely a Caleb. I would accept him as my friend. Or a skinny Haley Joel Osmond. He's got that face. Yeah, I, he, he, see, I mean, he looks yeah. well put together. Have you seen yeah. Haley Joel? What's his name? Uh, Haley Joel Osmond. He does not look that yeah. creepy, dude. No, he looks good. I'd fuck him. That guy? Yeah. I look, fuck Haley. Look at I ain't fat gay, Haley but, Joel Osmond. I oh, ain't yeah. gay, but if you like um I really love fat Haley Joel Osmond. <laughs> oh my god. I, I think he's How fucking quick did you adorable. pull that up? I guess that's better than Thin One because Thin One was a boy. That's at least a man. So that's yeah, legal. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a That looks like Ricky Gervais had an allergy problem. It looks, yeah, I see some things in there. He's no Caleb, though. Oh, there we go. That's a criminal. Uh, what do you think this guy did? Oh, Jesus. I mean, first he came here illegally. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. Then, <laughs> then, then after that. <laughs> Even for me. He probably stabbed someone with his eyebrows. <laughs> oh, you're actually almost right. He didn't use his eyebrows. He used what's called some type of. Uh, let me guess. Let me guess, fucker. <laughs> go ahead. I bet he stole a pack of cigarettes. Nope. He stabbed a Walmart employee after oh. with a knife that is similar to this in the side of the head after the Walmart employee uh, scanned his gallon of milk and then told him to pay for it. And then he pulled out again. He pulled out the knife. His name is Hector. Yeah, close. Hickman. Rodriguez. Hickman. Hickman. Asafir. Asphir. Oh. Hit, well, H-I-C-H-M-A-N. That's Hickman. That's fair. That's a Hickman if I've ever seen He's one. He's a 40-year-old man. Very brushy eyebrows. Look at that. Yeah. They yeah. are sharp enough to stab somebody. Yeah, he stabbed a 19-year-old female cashier in the side of the head. He had hair on him, though, man. Uh, the woman had a puncture wound behind her left ear. She was transport, uh, transported by ambulance to St. Mary's Hospital. She's in stable condition. After he stabbed the woman, he just sat down inside of the Walmart and waited for the cops to show up and arrest him. Did she lose 2% of her blood? <laughs> <laughs> Milk <laughs> joke. Boom, boom, boom. 
Boom! He stabbed her, <laughs> stabbed her right through the hood. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Did it give you a... Ah, uh, there you go. Is he a cereal stabber? A <laughs> milk joke. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, damn it. Wrong sound effects. <laughs> Racist. You're doing a very good Christmas song. Oh, thanks, man. This is, uh... When you don't have the headphones It's almost in. like you're a funny person. Almost. Trying. I'm the no show hitman. makes zero sense if you don't have headphones on. You're, oh, <laughs> oh I bet, no, I'm, I'm noticing that for sure. <laughs> it doesn't make sense uh, if you have headphones on either. Though. I'm That's talking it. over your laugh tracks and everything. That's yeah. okay. Don't Sorry. worry about it. It's Sorry. morning zoo radio at night in funny. my bedroom. Yeah. No, it's perfect. I have some Florida man stories <laughs> and Florida woman what stories. What the fuck was that? TJ has to pee. Yeah, let's let's pee. I got to pee too. Yeah, well, you yeah. guys can do it separately. Uh, not if it's up to TJ. <laughs> He's going to let me pee through his legs. All right, so here's, <laughs> please don't do that. that. You know what? I feel like there'd be a lot of mess I, that I'd have to clean up later. Yeah, well, he, go. He, never mind. No, watch. Go ahead. He'd look uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> look, I'm trying not to fanboy out to Chris Machado, but he's a fucking awesome comedian, so I will definitely do the pee through the legs thing. All right, cool. Now we got. We I got bet you weren't expecting that when you came over. Hey, I'll piss through your legs. I usually expect it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll be back in a few minutes. That's I got part of his, uh, what's it called? When uh, shtick? No, no, no. When you uh, uh the, 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 the thing that you get. When, oh, okay. Awesome. Meet Johnny Glover, and he's in big trouble, accused of going on a beer and cigarette stealing spree. Police say the 31-year-old Fort Myers man hit up three gas stations along Cleveland Avenue last night. NBC2's Ashley Dyer is live tonight at one of those gas stations. The manager at this store tells me they report thefts almost daily. Robberies, burglaries, and assaults have also happened at this store. Johnny Glover's night started at this 7-Eleven, where he tried to buy cigarettes. When his card declined, he grabbed the cigarettes and split. I do know that a lot of people still out of them. <laughs> like, at one time, it was a guy coming there with $5 bills. They were fake. His next stop, a shell station just down the street, where Glover took more cigarettes and a case of Bud Light. I feel bad. People are out of work. It doesn't justify going in and stealing things, but I can kind of understand why people are feeling a little bit more desperate. When I asked the 7-Eleven store manager about the incident last night, at first, she didn't remember. She says thefts happen so frequently at her store, it's hard to keep track. I hear people talking about it. Jessica Nelson. Snitches get stitches. Gets her coffee here every morning. If you see them coming in there five and six times a day and they don't buy nothing, then you obviously know that they are stealing. She says all of the gas stations in this part of town get hit with people stealing. But it's the 7-Elevens that usually see the most issues. Just depending on the area you're at, like you said, we're right off 41. There's going to be some sketchy people around. Managers in the convenience store say with so much theft happening, they're constantly watching every person who comes in the store. If it was my store and they walk in and they in there for five minutes and then they come out in behind it, oh, uh uh, let me check your pockets. Let me check your jacket. Why is it 90 degrees and you got on a sweater? Now, eventually, deputies found Glover walking down a nearby street. They tell me he dropped his ID at one of the gas stations when he was stealing cigarettes, so he was easy to identify. He tried to run from police, but eventually they got him, and he is behind bars tonight. I'm live in Fort Myers, Ashley Dyer, NBC2. Almost a month after a Lake County cemetery is vandalized, detectives arrest two men following a bizarre discovery. Those graves were found destroyed. Investigators say body parts of some of the people buried were found inside a Polk County apartment. News 6's Crystal Moyer tells us about the one piece of evidence that led to the arrest. It all comes down to cigars that were left here at the scene. Detectives with the Lake County Sheriff's Office say they ran the DNA through their database and got a match, leading them to the first suspect. 43-year-old Brian Tolentino and 39-year-old Burgos Lopez are behind bars on four counts of disturbing the contents of a grave and abuse of a dead body. Investigators with the Lake County Sheriff's Office say the two men admitted to randomly breaking into graves here at the Edgewood Cemetery and taking heads and other body parts last month. It's sick. I don't know them and it breaks my heart. Mother and daughter Tanya and Emma Booth are still emotional after discovering the vandalism and calling police. It was just kind of like concrete thrown around. The bodies were exposed and 
dismembered. According to an arrest affidavit, investigators searched Lopez's Polk County home and found a human skull, a hand and partial arm, as well as multiple bones. They also found several human heads, one belonging to an Army veteran laid to rest here at Edgewood Cemetery. It makes me angry. I mean, they gave the ultimate sacrifice and you just gave them the ultimate disrespect. The suspects told investigators they took the body parts for religious reasons. Sickening. We were both just devastated, flabbergasted. And now relieved the families involved will get justice. Uh, no family should ever have to go through something like this. Once you once you put your loved one at rest, that should be it. Both suspects are booked into the Polk County Jail and could be facing additional charges. In Mount Dora, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6. And Pinellas and Pasco health officials are warning about a vaccination scam tonight. The health department said they discovered someone created a fake Eventbrite account charging people to register. We need to tell you, you do not have to pay to sign up for one of the vaccines provided by the state. Geico's whole 50 minutes that came from me. Yow. Hi, welcome back. Fake radio. <laughs> with real grown adults from my bedroom. <laughs> 239 320 If you want to join us on the couch, we have Chris Machado as well as TJ Noonan. Hey, oh. We've had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TJ's co host for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and one week only. <laughs> uh, if you would like to join us, we're on Facebook, Twitch. Uh, you can chat. What's that? I ruined it. <laughs> All right, start it over. When are we going? All more? right. Uh, if you would like to join chat with us, we're on Facebook, YouTube, all of that nonsense. Uh, I have some Florida man stories, Florida woman stories, but Chris was telling me about a <laughs> what shooting. What are you doing? I, uh, Chris was telling me about a shooting that happened over the bridge on College Parkway in Fort Myers, and I found it, but what you told me, I couldn't find any information on. You told me that there was an 11-year-old killed. All it says here, according to NBC2 News, one person was killed in a shooting off of College Parkway in Fort Myers early Saturday morning. Sometimes I add information that makes it worse. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you had like more information than what the news had. If we had a breaking news. I thought maybe I thought maybe maybe it was the car crash I was thinking of that an eleven year old well, hopefully it wasn't an eleven year old was killed. Yeah, I mean either way it sucks that somebody's dead, but we'd hope it wouldn't be an eleven year yeah. old from well, the, shooting. The, the 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 reason I found out about it is because we were at the hotel right over the bridge, the Allure Hotel. Okay. And I had my twenty five hundred dollar bike on the back of my car. Okay. I locked it up. I shouldn't have had it there, but Bragger. it got stolen. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. Your, your bicycle, your twenty five hundred first of all, you spent twenty five hundred dollars on a bicycle? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It was fun. I it it was. Is it like an, an electric bike? Oh, an e -bike. okay. Yeah. So like when you go, yeah. you park your van and then you use the e bike to, to get, get around. around town and shit. Yeah, it's All right. amazing. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Man, oh, so it, there's no way to track it. Living the there's dream. no way to track it. It's gone. And I didn't even want to call the cops. And I felt even worse when the cop got there because he was like, "All right, well, so your bicycle got stolen." He's like, "Yeah, someone." Got shot and murdered across the street. Oh, so and your I was bike? Like, who gives a shit about your bike? Yeah, I'm right like now. my bike, and he's like, someone died right there. Yeah, and and I was like, go, uh, well, <laughs> did they steal oh, a shit. bike? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? What fucking yeah. does that do? How me? did they get away? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are you gonna get away? Just, yeah, uh, hopefully it wasn't my electric bike. If it uh, was, you imagine? find that guy. Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, it wouldn't be. Well, awesome. they would eventually get you your bike back because they're gonna yeah. solve a murder. They'll they, are they gonna look for if that bike? If you're gonna get your bike stolen, have it. Coincide with a murder for sure. Yeah. Have it be part of the getaway, yes. and then that way, whenever they locate the guy, you can go, Oh, you got him. That's my bike. And you get a free ticket to the trial. I assume I'd get to go because you say it so nonchalantly, you're right? <laughs> that you, there's, there's that you lost a $2,500 e bike, but I gotta be all right. Let me show you something here. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, god. I was, I was so very I, mad. I decided I got my Trump bucks, right? I'm, I'm oh. falling out. I've been doing well at work. Well, oh, yeah. A lot of uh, chuckle WP. hut shows. A lot of chuckle hut shows getting canceled. 
It's a real bummer. <laughs> Uh, don't put this on camera, but just feel this. I know you're not a guy that's into wow. into water pipes, right? Wow. It's a heavy one. Plus, here's the cool part. When you shut the lights off, it glows in the dark. This is a cool water pipe. Expensive. Your tobacco must fucking taste oh, amazing man, it's out really of that great. thing. really great. And here's the thing. It was... $108. My medical tobacco yesterday tasted great. Oh, my God. See, now you just you give it all away. We were, ha we were being coy and having charades. Medical and tobacco. And here's the thing. So I get that. I buy that on Sunday. I'm like, I'm going to treat myself. Boom. I'm out on my back porch Monday, less than 12 hours later. I'm out there enjoying some of my tobacco. I get up. I forget that I had put it down behind me, knock it over, and smash it to pieces. Mm -mm. So I immediately, my first thing I did was I went, I got to go buy another one because if I don't, I'm going to sit here and be pissed about it and I'll talk myself out of buying it and then guess what? I'll just be 108 bucks in the hole and not have a water pipe. At least now I'm 200 bucks in the hole, but I got a water got pipe. Back, yeah. But I, like, yeah. I was so mad about that 100 bucks for the entire yeah. day. When you find out you're $2,500, like you walked out and what'd you see? It was just gone off the back? It was gone, yeah. We saw it from the corner of the hotel. But yeah, no, I've, I'm filled with rage. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just not going to come out until I'm buying milk one day and I'm just going to fucking stab someone on the side of the head. Yeah, somebody walks yeah. in without a mask and you're like, but that's how that happens. I'm filled it's not with the rage. mask. It's the, the I got my $2,500 e-bike stolen Six before that. Ago, and now, it's and now I'm just fucking, I've been holding it in. Fucker. Oh, God. It I'm, sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so electrical. So that means you would what? Like charge it in the van? Um, no, I charge it. You can charge it in the van if the van's plugged into like a RV spot. But I just brought it. I don't. I, I still have the battery. Battery's worth five hundred. So they have to pedal it away. Damn. Yeah, and it's fucking <laughs> fifty five pounds. So they I, didn't pedal it away. They no, took it in a car. I bought sure. a fat tire bike. You oh know, yeah. You, you ever seen one of those? Yeah, they're bikes you can't ride. Yeah. Um. Well, here's the thing. So I didn't realize I bought. Oh yeah, you got one. I got a really great deal because it was like normally they're like six hundred bucks, and I found one that was normally six hundred bucks. But I got it for 185 bucks. But what I didn't realize was that I was buying the children's one and not the adults one. So now I'm riding a fat tire children's bike, which oddly enough no. I look appropriately sized. Is it the for. one in the front? Uh, no, that's my son's okay. bike. That's, no, you got that's a children's bike. bike. No, not that. No, but this was it's got I, a baseball card clipped in. Because I was like, man, <laughs> it's really weird that the handlebars don't lift up anymore, and I'm really hunched over. And then I saw another kid riding the same exact model, but it was higher up, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. He was like a 12 year old. Yeah. Should have tra <laughs> traded with him. Beating him up. Well, he would have beat me up. I think. Uh. I think the bell that goes the cow said should have probably <laughs> the given streamers. Him away. Yeah. You just act like you're not tough. I think you are tough. I think you I tried. used to be. I'm trying to get back to being tough. Oh, I used to door opened. Shut that, that fucking door. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> when was the last time you were in a fist fight? It's been, I uh, want to know the honest truth. Probably yeah. not the coolest thing to say. New Year's Eve of My maybe. My grandma. It was a woman, but it wasn't intentional. Oh, it was. It was not intentional. So I'm hanging out. We're having drinks. It's New Year's Eve. We're in uh, my hometown with all my friends. This is 10 years after college, so we don't get together very often. It's rare that we're all in the same spot. We're drinking. We live in a beach town. People from New York always come down for New Year's Eve to party. They come down and rent a house. They stay there for the weekend. Um, we're at a bar. They're drinking. These people from New York are drinking. My buddies are drinking. There's this old man that's a local, that's a regular, that was dancing, and he was dancing with the guy's girlfriend. He was dancing and all wrong. He, but he was. <laughs> he was just dancing, and he was an old, he was harmless. And we knew him. We're like, it's fucking Earl. You don't worry this about is Earl. the last Rob Fist. But the guys from New York didn't know that, so the guys are, like, getting mad, and they're, like, getting heated, and they're yelling at Earl. And Earl's, like, not the type to yell back. Earl just keeps on dancing. And so the guy's, like... They, they go after Earl, and it turns into a big fight. And we're just trying to separate. And it spills into the parking lot. And then all of a sudden, as we're separating, I just get clocked in the back of the oh, head no in a shit. crowd. And my instant reaction was I turned around and punched whoever threw that oh, punch. Oh, shit, It was son. a girl. Hit her right in the Oh, head. no. You say, you say it was a girl or It was a girl. girl. A girl. No, she, I mean, girl, but she hit me first. And then I went, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And then the next thing I know, another... Still. This way, and then it, and then all my friends got involved, and that then the cops got called. And here's the thing: we broke everything up. Everybody separated. The New York people made the mistake of getting in this. The, somebody called the cops. They get in their car to take off. The cops show up as they're taking off. They all they're all DUIs. loaded. Oh all of them God. got arrested. <laughs> oh, as, and the cops just came up and like, what happened? We told them, and they're like, that's oh, fucking Earl. We know not to. <laughs> <laughs> and so no, nothing ever happened. But that was the last you time. I was, faces. Oh, and prior to that, the last time I was in a fight, Alan White kicked me in the nuts when I was eleven. And, and, and my friend punched him in the face at a snowball, hit him in the face, and then I threw a snowball at him, and, and that was the closest. And that's I've it. only been in two fights ever. You look like you can fight, though. No, I took karate. 
Oh, really? so my you hands... definitely can't fight. No, I know how to. You know what I know how to do? Distract you with bullshit and then run away. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm a black yeah. belt in the. I would be scared of you. Though. Korean art form of Tung Soo Do. Oh. Yes, my hands are in the state of New Jersey. Weapons. What, what oh belt did you get? God. Second degree black belt. I could have been oh, a master. Really? Yeah. I, I did it for like 13 years. That's as yeah. good as like a, I feel like a yellow belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly right. I, I know how. If you're going to throw a punch, I can go like this to block it. I don't know why. What? Who, who oh, punches yeah. down what? like this? Yeah. But they taught me this. Yeah. If you're coming at me with Take a wooden knife. Yeah. And if you come at me with a wooden knife, I know how to defend that because that's oh, what yeah. we had. Uh, real, how about you, Chris? I can defend a stick. Physical fist fight as a grown man. Uh, I was at a bar and someone... Threw a girl, like his girlfriend, off a stool. <laughs> they threw a human at I, you? Yeah, I just attacked him. Well, he threw it. Oh. Just He just threw her, and then they you were, were in like, an argument. He pushed her off the stool. She hit oh, really hard. And then you oh. just attacked that yeah, yeah. How'd that well, end for, for the you? honor? I won, but I also didn't really give him an opportunity to. You don't to seem like the typical Boston type mm, area no. guy where, like, no. correct, you get into fights for like, fun my friends do that like they'll get drunk and then they'll fight each other and yeah. i'm like Guys, all my friends do that too right and yeah. it's you weird to me i'm like a damsel in distress though. exactly yeah yeah but right. i don't I and like... then i fucked her pussy oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Tic-tac>. <laughs> um yeah no that was the last time how many years ago are we talking uh it was probably like two years ago oh okay so yeah. it's not been long no it wasn't that long <laughs> see i'm at a shake man i'm worried i can hit hard but i can't stay in that fight for long so if Mm. It's either one or two punches, yeah. and if it does, it's not over by then. I'm fucked. Then I know I'm getting pummeled yeah. because if they go and tackle me to the ground or they and kick, they, yeah, I mean that shit's tiring. I remember, yeah. I remember, a and girl, our age. It's weird. The girl that I first dated and lost my virginity to. You didn't punch her, did you? No, no. Oh. So uh, I don't know if you have a long history. No, no, of this no, shit. no, never. Oh. Yeah. Hell, I could do it again. <laughs> Hell. I assume oh. there's some sort of sound drop there. Yeah, Hold there on. You go. No, it's all right. I uh, tried yeah, these. All right, you want to do it again? Hold on. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Chris Machado, no. No, do it. Oh. Hey-o. Hey-o. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, you can all do right. It Double annoying. Yep. In both ears. <laughs> yeah, that's um, why I don't have these in. The girl that I first lost my virginity <laughs> yeah. to, I'm moving to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania sometime, <laughs> and she lives there. I, of all the places, because oh, we're Jesus. friends on Facebook. But anyway, she broke up with me. She started dating a guy named uh, Steve. And he was a kickboxer. <laughs> she met him at kickboxing class. So we are all at my friend Kevin and Kyle's house. Dinner. She shows up with Steve. I'm all butt hurt because I'm like, I still love you. Yeah. Like, how could you <laughs> cheat on me with Steve? And Steve's like, hey, man, she doesn't want to date you anymore. I'm like, hey, man, you better back the fuck off and mind your own business. You know what he tried to do? He went and spinning roundhouse kicked me. Who fucking Whoa. does that to start a fight? It wasn't even a push or a punch. He just took a stance and then spinning roundhouse kicked me. You know what I did? Because I was a black belt. I ducked. That's, I swear to God, he, he, he kicked the thermostat, and then all my friends jumped in and tackled him to the ground, and I went, yeah, uh, you don't want none of this. And I'm you're like, not a take pussy. that, you're Steve. You always to seem like a pussy. Yeah, take not. that. He's probably a fucking lawyer now. <laughs> and I'm fucking playing radio in my bedroom with Whatever, you. Not that I mind guy. it. Nobody wants to fucking date a lawyer. Yeah, but you want to marry one. I guess so, if you just want to be fucking miserable. Yeah, and rich. Okay. Miserable and rich. Go live in a van. Have a great time. Watch strippers wipe their vaginas I, with tortillas. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I have, <laughs> I have kids. I'd rather them have a financial future, although the tortilla sounds like a great second option. They don't. You don't need to provide a financial future for the kids. I'm telling you. <laughs> you From experience. Yeah. Yeah. I you just ship them off to, I don't know, whatever. Orph- orphanage is still a thing? I, I don't think so anymore. They just I, got rid of them? They just put them online. Like dogs to uh, adopt. You technology can just and everything. Yeah. You can't get a fucking good uh, chastity belt. You can't get a good orphan. If you're like my mom <laughs> and you believe in right? QAnon, uh, they just actually, the elite adopt them. Then uh, then they go to a pizza restaurant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you know. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, do you I, know, I, but do, I, are I you in? in facts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, man, because my mom is in QAnon, and I'm like, man, the shit yeah. that she believes make people who believe in flat earth seem normal. Well, the earth is flat. <laughs> we don't have to get into that. But yeah. oh, you and Shaq are the only people. Or who was it that believed that? Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving was the guy that was like, yeah. yeah don't, no, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. No, no, no. What are you fucking retarded? What just happened? Uh, it was tobacco. Yeah, no. Don't oh, do that. No. I apologize. You're I fucking, apologize. Uh, where's the sound drop for that? <laughs> There's not. Well, actually, yeah, there is forgot, one. Hold on. <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Three shows ago. Oh, 
Yeah, I think that's it. It'll, yeah. it'll be free yeah, and done. That's about it. That's great. You're right. Why isn't he the host anymore? He was doing crack. On <laughs> yeah. Smoking crack. Smoke tobacco out of a pipe. <laughs> Straight up. There's a reason why I was like, hey, look at this off camera. And you're like, hey, let me put this on camera. Yeah, he wouldn't even why? show his water pipe. <laughs> and it's clean. Water pipe. He's like, hey, tie I me off real it. quick. Tie me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that's not illegal, right? Nope. I have Florida man. So, man, you are. I've never done that, though. You what? ever shot up? That's not something that you just say. I, he doesn't smoke weed. I don't even smoke weed, dude. Yeah, no. hey, hey, you don't smoke it's weed? because It's strictly heroin, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's you what don't I'm smoke thinking. weed, but, oh, you, have you ever seen, <laughs> tried heroin? Yeah, you into coke? Enough. Nowhere yeah, in what's fentanyl? the hardest drug? Jo- uh, halluc- hallucinogens. I like hallucinogens. What was uh, the minute, hardest so one you ever tried? So did you ever smoke weed or it was just? I, yeah, not like it was never a thing, but I've smoked weed. But you just don't choose to do times. it. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but I just don't like it. I, sm- I like smoked drinking. it thousands of I times. I like drinking and doing mushrooms twice a year. Oh, that's beautiful. Why only twice a year? Is there just like. Because there's no reason to fucking be the mushroom guy. <laughs> I mean, you're living in Where's a van. Chris? You might as well be just <laughs> on mushrooms in my van. I'm not that Chris Machado Rogan. Uh, no, I've done LSD in my van, and then I yeah. looked in a mirror and felt like I was made of glass, and just stood there for about three hours and yeah. went, "I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I gotta." It, it's too. It's already too much. Um, there's too much stimulus being on the road in no, yeah. like in the middle of nowhere. It's I like you're so. already getting all that energy and that good feeling. Where do you like to go and do when you do? Do you got nature? I like to do something different every time. I see that. But so I do like, you know, I've done every single that. I've gone to, you know, cool beaches, theme parks, uh, watched Rango. Like, no matter what. <laughs> <you> Rango. <know, laughs> I, I distinctly remember watching Rango, the and Disney that was one of the, the best cut. ones. Yeah. I and it's weird, man. Cause, yeah. I mean, I've always done, it's usually I ride my bike, and I go enjoy being outside. I can't do them and sit inside. I'm the type that wants to be outside and I enjoy prefer, I prefer to do stuff. But the inside stuff's cool, too, because you can just be more, you can just. Think about stuff or watch Rango. It's so weird to see. <laughs> it's so weird to see Johnny Depp voice the Geico uh, lizard. The lizard. It's well, unbelievable. You know, what? I watched him in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because yeah. it was one of those. All right, I'm gonna come down from this. I went and rode my bike, and now I want to watch something that'll calm me down. But the whole time I'm going, oh, don't go in this fucking chocolate factory, kids. It's nothing but bad. <laughs> you no, are. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's that? so I'm warning. Don't I'm like, drink the fizzy yeah. lifting drink, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it's gonna cost you the factory. You and Uncle Joe. God damn it. I, but I am. I'm like all into it. And then like Caitlin's like, hey, you need to calm down. And I'm like, why? And she's like, because the kids are going to think something's wrong. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're probably right. Why is daddy yelling That's at church? That's all kids are is just adults on mushrooms. <laughs> Basically. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they, they enjoy it a lot more. They enjoy yeah. life a lot more than yeah. we do. And if you ever really need them to like kind of just do their own thing. We'll give them mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never thought not about to? it. Just see yeah. what happens. I don't know. I've always worried that I'll get if I had not done LSD and then had it been done to me, like I'm hanging out and somebody slips it. Yeah, I can't imagine because like I went through it and like there were moments where I'm like, I got to control this. But I knew that I was in control. Whereas if you don't know and it just happens and all of a sudden you're like, oh, my God, why is everything on my phone? Well, melting? Would, I'd be in a hospital. Immediately. Me, too. I think I would be. I, I think I'm losing my mind. Shit, then I'd start yeah. hearing voices even in my head. Even if someone told me after, even if someone was like, hey, by hey, the way, yeah, yeah, I'd be like, nope, you I'm fuck. I got cancer. You want to hear a shitty move? <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got me cancer. and Dustin Diamond. We both got <laughs> That's all that happened. Someone slipped him LSD. And, yeah. So my buddies. So, you know, Matt Lachey? Uh, Have I, you ever? You no. know, okay, so it's I know the Lachey brothers from Little Giants. No, nope, that's different. Yeah, you mean <laughs> Matt Lachey? No, that's Nick Lachey that you're thinking of. I know you're going to do an NSYNC joke. Uh, no, <laughs> Matt Lachey. 98 degrees. Yes, good okay. band. Uh, Matt Lachey is a I'll kill myself. A little area right off of Northwest Cape where you're going. Oh, up. it's not a person. No, it's an air, it's a city. You know John Smith? It's a <laughs> it's nice a little city. park right over there. No, Matt Lachey, Matt Lachey is uh, a nice that's little island town. On. That's where I grew up on. So. What Matt Lachey? Yeah. yeah. All my friends, so it's a nice little like beach town. That's why kind I didn't wear shoes, dog. Like when you saw me, I didn't wear shoes because I grew you're up fr- in Matt Lachey. That doesn't. I, I mean, you haven't lived there in how long? Uh, like twenty years. Okay, so you should be wearing fucking shoes by now. You've been <laughs> out of that place long Never enough. Never forget your roots, Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His roots are thirty feet. I still have my umbilical cord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still attached. It's like hey, <laughs> brown and rotting uh, off. No, uh, okay. my buddies came down. They had a, a house there. So every year, my friends would come down. Their parents owned a house in Matt Lachey. That was their retirement. They would come down. And so when they weren't using it, the kids would come down, and I would always come down, and we'd do LSD together. But <laughs> the first time they come down, they came down, my buddy's like, hey, we should all do this. And I'm like, it's late. I'm like, we went 
let's try it tomorrow. And the one kid's like, well, I already took it. And we were like, oh, have you ever done this before? And he goes, no. And we went, we're going to go to bed. So best of luck to you. And he spent the next eight hours tripping by himself, just sitting oh, there. Wow. And I went, man, that that was a real shitty dick move. But like, we also all agreed, hey, we're going to do it later. Don't jump the gun and take it before everybody else. You don't be the first person to try anything. I could see you doing that. Before everybody I, else. I, I totally did like, this. Hey, I'm like, sick. I guarantee I know who this is, like, yeah. for sure. No, you don't know him because he's from New Jersey. But it, but he lived in Matt There's Lachey. a community that you yeah, know okay, about. You're There's right. a Facebook If he group. lived in Matt Lachey, <laughs> like, I got venison from Matt Lachey. That's where I got my ben- venison from. Like, I'm all in touch there, dude. Where'd you get the carrots in your van from? <laughs> what other random fucking facts are there? That- venison. <laughs> the good Florida venisons in Matt Lachey. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a man. <laughs> Who hunts? All Burnt Store Road. <laughs> Jesus. In Cape, Cape Coral. Yeah, no, I just, I, I'm guarantee I know who the fuck you're talking about. Okay. Well, it's been nice having you, TJ. Oh, <laughs> fired that quick. Have you ever had trouble? I've been fired quicker. Can I ask you a question? I'm older. How old are you, Chris? 33. And you're in your 40s. 41. Wow. For some reason, and I apologize and I to look younger Janessa. Than both you fuckers. You do. Well, you don't look younger, but you look you look in better look shape. Right you look young, yeah. Better yeah. shape, yeah. Oh yeah. Which is really weird because I've treated myself like shit. Well, you're a pool boy. Yeah, you're out in the sun all yeah. day. Yeah. I look like I can Strong go get forms. you a coconut for. You're $5. a pool man now. <laughs> you ever have trouble wiping? Either one of you. Like I, t- it's weird, but I trouble I've, wiping. Like, are we talking uh, about acid still? No, no, we're talking about asses. I Maybe, feel like. Yeah, uh, asses, not uh, acid. Asses, uh, okay. <laughs> I have, it's weird, but, like, I'll go to the bathroom, then I'll clean off, and then, like, an hour later, I'll get an itchy butthole, and I'm like, wait, why is it? And then I'll go, and I'll wipe off again, and then an hour later, I have to go, it's weird, it's like, I'm Thank slowly God, I releasing. I would totally is, um, you right is, uh, your wife's name's Caitlin, right? Yeah. Is she pegging you? No! Oh. <laughs> wait, you think I have a loose sphincter, and it's just seeping out? Well, it's very odd. Yeah, it could but be. it's. Like, it's only when, I, like, every couple of days I'll have this weird where it doesn't cut <laughs> off. It just keeps slowly coming. It's like a custard machine. You ever go and get custard? And you're like, all right. Custard. And then it, yeah, you cut it off. It's soft serve. It's Venison soft serve. and custard. You guys are freaking me out. Dude. What are you guys eating? All right, so Down I'm the only one that's got poop yeah. problems. All right. No, no I no, mean, no, we've, no, everyone's had an itchy <laughs> asshole. Is it, it's, it's a, it's a but problem? But it's common. It's a common like, problem. Like, today I went for a bike ride, and I'm like, what I need got, to... You got, well, those these are pants, those perpetuate sweaty asshole for sure, but it's not sweaty. Well, it's guys. clean. It I'm like telling you, it's clean, ass. and then it becomes re-dirtied without a movement. It's very odd. I need to go to a doctor. I think I have cancer. Me, Dustin Diamond, yeah. and you. We all you got have a, cancer. You're a leaky, a leaky, leaky asshole. Beat. Yeah, that's. I mean, I feel left out. I want cancer too. Do you itch your ass <laughs> like this? No, because like if you're on a chair, no, because like, I know it's there. Okay, so I'd rather get up. I mean, I look how far I have to walk. This is the only place I'm that ever is at. Far. Here and where we go play <laughs> poker. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that, I think that happens to everyone, but if it's a common problem, but, yeah, like the point where more it's... than four hours, then I would <laughs> see a doctor. A physician for sure. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make an. App- I don't have health insurance oh for another two weeks. God, I'm sure dude. there's a fucking Bluetooth asshole scratcher you can buy <laughs> fucking, on, on yeah, Quibi. dot com. My luck is somebody's gonna hijack that too. <laughs> Your and asshole is mine. Stop scratching my asshole. <laughs> Your asshole hey, is please mine. Please stop. <laughs> Send me five Bitcoin, <laughs> or you will forever have an itchy Holy asshole. Holy motherfucker! Well, I'll never have an itchy asshole. They'll just tear right through. Oh That's my good. god! Holy great mother. times! All right, cool. I'm the only one with butthole problems. Anybody playing no, the Powerball? Butthole problems. I mean, what? Play, nobody's do you don't do are you doing lottery because uh, we bought powerball because the person lost. was in oh you did yeah how about you it sucks when you lose right uh i always want to but now that um you're divorced and don't have any money you can't and i can't yeah okay that's speaking probably. of wiping your ass that's a good way to just wipe <laughs> your ass with your money yeah get divorced <laughs> yeah i mean well, or get see, divorced. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm about to get cleaned out bro yeah yeah but it looks like you already are cleaned out you Wait got, you you got beers in a trash bag and you don't have shoes <laughs> I think you're cleaned out, dude. <laughs> There's not much more to take. <laughs> Will you kill me? <laughs> he said that a lot. He said I'm going to kill myself like nine times. <laughs> no, I just ignored it. it. Can, the, can the can the suicide keep... hotline call us? <laughs> it should flash that. I have a joke about that where I say I called a suicide hotline and I'm from Cape Coral and they said do it. Mm-hmm. No, I think we can all agree. Oh, come on. You, you did it. I like it. I really want to get better at stand up. 
I really suck at stand up. I'm awful. Uh, and you're not much better at podcast co host than <laughs> either, so you should put that down on the list this of things. This is just an open But mic. I'm going to use this as <laughs> that, my resume. Yeah. What, what's that resume going to be used for? Nonsense. Ooh, All right. It's going to be like the, the, um, the bad guy at Aldi's. Okay. Where's the sound drop? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should request those. All right. Um, let me see. Here's a photo of a guy. This dude, look, look at that. I don't know. Fucking Ooh. beard. Let me pull this. It's like a young, un, not well adjusted Santa Claus. Ginger. Looks like no, Conor McGregor Claus. I feel bad for him. Yeah. It's a rough, it's a tough life being a It's ginger. not even I the know. red hair, though. It's the it's the freckles on yes, the shoulders. Yes, exactly. And here's the thing. It can go one of two ways. There can right. be very attractive. It, there's no in between. It's either very attractive redheads or, oh, I can't look at you long enough. Like Is if I look at you too. redhead? Yeah, she's yeah. an attractive one. There you go. Good but job. there's, you know, there's others. <laughs> Who, when you look at them, oh, they go, shit. oh, it's hard to Are stop. you blanking this out? Right <laughs> yeah, now? I did. I you turned did. the off for that part. Yeah. I'm just kidding. They're all very attractive. But so it, d- does her sister listen to that? <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Stop. No, but it is. There are redheads out there that you're like, oh. Like, yeah. Carrot Tops, I've heard a very, very nice he guy. He rolled with it, though. He yeah. was like, I look horrible. I'm and gonna so I'm going to fuck up my face. <laughs> yeah, Jack. He's and- like, I'd rather look weird than horrible. <laughs> You got real jacked and then That's fucked with his shit. face a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's All right, well, this guy's shit. a weird-looking redhead, a ginger. His name is Royce. That's a Royce name. That guy looks like a Royce. Royce Dean Brenny. He's what we call beef thief. He worked at the Winn-Dixie in Donellan. He was arrested after they caught him. Instead of weighing the beef that he was uh, then purchasing as an employee of the store using his employee discount, instead of weighing the beef, he would take pieces of paper or an empty box for the gloves and put that on the scale, then print that sticker out, then put the meat inside of a bag, put that sticker from the empty box of that gloves. That was a side hustle. Yeah, and then he would go and... Check out and like save a whole bunch. Of, they said he stole over something I would do. Six hundred bucks in meat. Who doesn't steal from? I'm not job? hating on him. Well, this at guy got all. caught. I guess they caught him after doing. How much doing beef did he steal? That he's a segment. Six hundred dollars worth of beef. He is a beef Aww. thief. He, uh, beef. he was beef? arrested. Uh, he got caught doing it October 11th, December 10th, December 11th, December 24th, and December 30th. Where's the beef, Royce? Give, give us Where's back the beef. The beef. They yeah, say that. He and another employee began doing it at the beginning of 2020. When Royce got popped, he gave the name of the other employee. So he's a snitch, too. He's a oh, beef thief and a fucking fuck snitch. Snitches snitch. get brisket. I mean, <laughs> snitches. You should go down with snitches the ship on that one. If you're caught, just... <laughs> you're caught stealing beef, why you got to rat out Donald? It's who... just beef. You lose your fucking shitty job. At yeah. Winn-Dixie. Go be a... He doesn't look that unhappy, but life's, I mean, life, if you're living in Donellan... Yeah, and you're Dunnellan, is Dunnellan, yeah. Dunedin, Dunedin's different, right? Yeah, Dunedin right. is like down Pinellas area, Pinell, yeah. uh, Pinellas County. This is like up in the Panhandle, Dunnellan. I've noticed that the center of Florida is real fucked up. Yeah, as That's long as you're near the beaches, your stories come from. When you're near the beaches, it's fine. But yeah. once you go twenty miles inland, oh it's like That's, crazy. That's Ocala. That's yeah. Arcadia. That's all. All of those shitholes oh, yeah. that you probably get offered. Hey, you want to come do this bar? You're like, oh. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. <laughs> How I much like those, it? though. I went during go swamp, stand up at a nursery swamp cabbage like uh, festival in I don't know right in the center of Florida. <laughs> yeah, it was like a swamp cabbage festival, um, which I guess is like um, hearts of palm or something. They eat. Mm-hmm. I, I've never had it. Swamp yeah, cabbage. Swamp I don't know. Apparently, it goes good with gator fucking your sister and, <laughs> and stand up comedy. Yeah, it's a nice garnish for your sister's <laughs> pussy. Okay. Holy motherfucker. I'm so glad I don't have a sister. I can say things like that. <laughs> uh, Brenny said he would typically grab a box of gloves, weigh them on the pricing scale to create a lower value on the label, then would go to the self-checkout register register and pay for the undervalued items. He would take the meat home and put it in his freezer for personal use. I see no issue with this. He was arrested and taken either. to Marion County Jail. He was released on Thursday. I see no issue with this. I steal water Every time I go grocery shopping. What do you mean you steal if water? If you don't notice the water under my carriage, that's my fucking water. 
Oh, so you, like when you go in, I'll you put don't... it under the carriage. I'll check out. I pretend I forgot it, and then usually they don't oh, notice yeah, yeah, it, yeah. and I just I get a free pack of water. Um, I do that with so these cups. Okay, that's oh, G wow, shit. Yeah. That's so G shit. this is actual coffee, but they ring coffee. They ring up as like three dollars for the thirty-two ounce or in the styrofoam cup. Unless, but for soda, oh it's God. only a dollar six. You are totally gonna reveal. Well, I your don't. Secret. I don't even say anything. It's them. They don't correct the me. They just ring it up as one hundred six because they assume that it's soda. We're and gonna have a segment on you very soon. Why? And I'm not doing it. It's a loophole. <laughs> he's gonna the <laughs> no. bean thief. Oh, he'll, he'll have to come in here and go. Huh. Hey, can I use your studio to report on you? <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I actually taught my kid a lesson because he was like, "You're stealing from them," and I went, "No, watch." Because we went in and one time a woman said, "Is that coffee?" And I or she goes, "Is that soda?" And I said, "No, it's coffee." And I said, but thank you for asking. And she rang me up for the $4. Oh, if they ask, I'll correct them. But if they don't do their exactly. job and just assume well, I'm the asshole for not, not correcting all. them and not going, you need to charge me $3 more. Thing, That's your thing, dude. That's your thing. That's what you're known for. You're just another beef thief. Another <laughs> beef thief. <I'm> <laughs> all of us have a little beef thief. We all have a little beef in us. I'm a bean know? thief. Yeah, bean and thief. you steal water. Bean thief, you're, yeah. a, you're a Java. I don't know. I'll think of something. Okay, well, Luckily, there wasn't a penis inside at the time. Oh, my God. Uh, this gentleman will pull his photo up. He was arrested because he told cops he was going to kill them after they tried to arrest he and his father, Joseph Prohaska That's of Tom Brevard Segura, County, Florida. He rode his airboat through the streets of his neighborhood. He then started shooting off fireworks when the cops showed up because of a disturbance call around 11.30 p.m. He then started, he turned the airboat back on when the cops showed up, revved the engine to cause a disturbance and mock law enforcement. Then when the cops tried to arrest his father, he said, hey, I will kill you if you hurt him. Again, Ooh. I see nothing wrong. <laughs> he is I facing charges wrong. of disorderly conduct and making threats to a law enforcement officer. And you might be wondering, what's it look like when they put a that airboat? Tom Segura on two white claws. Damn it. Oh, see, <laughs> this is what you're supposed to do in Florida. What? Take yeah. an airboat to the streets yeah, and then yeah. race it? We took a tour yeah. last week, and this this is actually us on the back you... there. <laughs> 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 Going down the middle Mom. of Brevard County roads? Yep. Uh, I did not realize that you could ride those on streets. I mean, I see why now, because there's no actual engine. It's just propelled by air. <laughs> but look at this. I didn't realize they're this fast either. This beats like a little uh, race. <laughs> He was going to kill him. That's a problem. I, well, I mean, yeah, I believe that is an issue. The cops seem to have an issue with that one where you go, fuck you, I'm going to kill you if you hurt my father. Yeah, don't hurt my dad. <laughs> it's my dad. Yeah. Don't hurt my dad. We're just trying to enjoy a little airboat ride through the middle I would of the never get arrested for my father. I love him. But if they were arresting him, I'd, I'd go, well, you probably deserve this. Yeah, I wouldn't either, but it's because he's dead. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Your your dad your I didn't do a, it. It was a horrible airboating accident. He <laughs> <laughs> was just crossing the street and got fucking taken out by taken an out by an, Which is odd. It happened yeah. in Boston. Doesn't yep. even, I, I didn't, didn't even know they had the hospital. He's like, I think I have cancer. And they're like, nope. <laughs> nope. You got hit by an airboat. Get out of here, Dustin Diamond. <laughs> all right. Uh, How'd your dad die? Should we tie it all in? Was his dick in a chastity you? device when it no, happened? Cancer. Cancer for real? Yeah. Wow, that fucking cancer. Mm-hmm. Bet you weren't over there wishing for it anymore, are you? Early, like 10 minutes ago, you're like, I wish I had cancer. It was pretty yeah, funny, though. Now. He weighed like 55 pounds at the end. It was fucking awesome. Oh, was I would like, kill- awesome. pick you up. You're like a little baby. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I would like to lose weight. Not that, I mean, Jesus. Not like that, though. I, would, I mean, but. You should try vaping. I think it's going to do the job. What, giving you the cancer? Did you actually smoke cigarettes or did you? I did. Can I, did can I guess what kind of cancer he had? Sure. Pancreatic. No. Oh, shit. Rectal. Yes, my father is Alex Trebek. <laughs> what is pancreatic cancer? No, no, lung cancer from cigarettes. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. That's when I quit smoking. My grandparents oh, died that way too, that but sense. my parents never picked the habit up. It was a weird, I don't know, it skipped yeah. that generation. But I started doing it because I wasn't 
old enough to see the devastating effects. Whereas I think my parents were, they were able to see their, their parents yeah. back in that day. Well, back in that day, they were like, it's fucking, it's got vitamins. Yeah. They said it was how like, they, yeah. they, I remember it it, your T zone. a few, a few days ago, it was the anniversary and it was only like the 50th anniversary of when they first declared that cigarettes may be harmful for your health. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, this day in 1970. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck you mean? We're what? not even allowed to breathe air in the grocery store. Right. They can fucking, dude, and they're like, no air. Put the fucking thing on. So the first yeah. radio station I worked at used to have an old smoking room. And what they it oh. they turned it into the janitor's closet. But it, literally, you'd walk in and the paint was peeling off the walls. Because for years, people would just go in and burn fucking heaters down. This is making <laughs> us all want to smoke a cigarette I, right now. I that know sounds it. like a good <laughs> sign, though. Hey, the we room, all stop smoking, but we all want them. Hey, the room we're all smoking in, it's growing arms like out of the walls. Yeah. You think maybe these are bad for you? <laughs> nah, I'm sure it's just structurally nah, not nah. okay. Bad paint job. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. Yeah, what did you can't. smoke, dude? What cigarettes? I liked uh, Marlboro 27s. And, and, what? And Cowboy Killers. I like Marlboros. Wow, and those Marlboro. are And Marlboro Reds. Yeah, I liked, Reds. I liked Parliament Lights. Ooh, I like Parliament Lights. I love right? I like the Parliament the filter, filter, man. The filter was the I looked shit. so bougie you with those. You could the hole. Yeah, yeah I like, mean, people uh, thought I looked like a... I mean, you already... Hey, you never go, hey, can I bum a smoke? What do you got? Marlboro? No, I only want Parliament. Parliament son. I uh, but then people were like, oh, do you do cocaine? I'm like, no, why? And they're like, because a lot of people, thing. yeah, and do oh, that. Oh, that's right. They would put cocaine yeah, in Yeah, I was so naive. I also didn't realize that yeah, guys with long fingernails also do cocaine. Which we way. talked about. Yeah. I'd I bite my fingernails. I'd be terrible too. at coke. I stopped doing it during the pandemic because I was like, man, think of all the things I touch. But then well, I'm like. They said that coke cured COVID. Well, cocaine? Yeah, well, they it said does, that but you have point. to inject it. Through your anus. <laughs> while, you're your drinking, penis. while you're drinking bleach. Through your, what, what was her name? Uh, who? Uh, Danis. Danal. Danis. Danis. Danal. Just shoot that cocaine right in my Danal. <laughs> uh, oh, I get more Florida Man stories quickly because oh, I want to bring this shit. one up. Uh, I totally derailed it. I apologize. What, <laughs> what did you derail? What do you so, think this gentleman, he was arrested at a strip club. What do you think he was oh, arrested for doing? Um, He I'll assaulted... Jacoby Someone that works there. Smart. Well, that's true. Okay. Right. We got a winner on that. How about you, TJ? He put his finger in a girl's butthole. Nope. That is incorrect. Oh, man. Uh, he was at, and I'm going to show you the strip club because then I went and read some of the reviews. What you talking about, Willis? And the reviews say, please finger our strippers. <laughs> no, there apparently there are no strippers. It's just bikers, which is very <laughs> depressing. They'll charge <laughs> you. I, they say that there's new management, but through what I read on the reviews, there's never strippers. <laughs> People show up, and then they charge them a $20 cover fee to get in, and then they get in, and they just keep telling them, after 8, the girls show up. So people just keep waiting, and then 8 comes, and then no girls are there, and 9 o'clock comes, and it's just more bikers. And then by That's 10 good. o'clock, when you want to bitch and go, where's my fucking money? The bar's filled <laughs> with bikers who will beat the shit out of you if you cause any nice. problems. So you just leave and spend a whole bunch of money and see no titties. Wow. Oh my god! Story I've read, of read a lot of, of my life I've, I've read a lot of Google reviews of this strip club because uh, they were not good. Jacoby Smart, thirty six years old of Pensacola, he was arrested at the Escapes Gentlemen's Club after he went into the VIP room with one of the dancers, pulled out his cell phone, and started They're filming touching. her recording a dancer as against the. Uh, club's rules, especially doing it from a private stage. When a male employee confronted Smart, Smart tackled him into the VIP room's couch, then punched the man in the face before other employees managed to pull him away. The employee had deep cuts on his mouth and around his left eye that was sealed shut when officers arrived. Multiple employees attempted to stop Smart, including one female employee who (laughs) Smart kicked uh, and then, oh, he ended up slapping her across the face, causing her to fall into a wall. More so like you were, Jacoby's stupid. You, you know. <laughs> uh, and here's why I bring it up. He was escorted out of the club. He was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct as well as assault, aggravated battery causing bodily harm and disability. I Google review. First of all, here's what the strip club looks like. Have you ever been to an stab? This looks oh, like your wow. typical floor. It's purple. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, it says on the... Door, that like right the on 41? Where do you park your uh, fan boat? I can show you right over here. You pull right down this road. You drag race right down we here. so many questions. Into this busted ass parking lot. Think of all the things that have happened to girls behind this. Oh. Right in here. Look at that. I mean. Wow. I like that pole. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, and they, what was the, on the sign it said. I wanted to sort of say shop open, called Daddy Problems. They're open 1 to 3 a.m. Due to popular demand, we kept the ugly one. I don't know what that means. Nice. I saw that on Facebook. 
what they kept the ugly one. Yeah. That's right on the and side of a highway. That's what my parents said. Oh. Uh, here are their reviews. Uh, I went to. The I see a lot of stars. Three point six forty one. That's reviews. a high rating. Hold on, let me go lowest rating first, and let me see. <clears throat> This one, obviously, an amateur at going to the strip club. This place is not only disgusting, but there are blatant drug deals going on all over the place inside. Even the staff is doing it. Well, duh. Okay, so it's an amazing strip club. <laughs> yeah, that's every strip yeah. club. That's why I don't under people. Yeah. That I've ever been to. There so were drugs being dealt job? somewhere. It's like when people are like, Dunkin' Donuts coffee's gross. It's like, dude, it's supposed to be gross. This is supposed to be what it is. <laughs> yeah. You want to see Most of the drug people deals. that are going there are going there for drugs. There, there, there are strip clubs you go to just because it's so awful. Eric Walker like, this is the best. gave it Tell one star four years ago. He goes, oh, where to start? Walked in around 6 p.m. and only one tattooed covered fat chick pushing at least 180 pounds. The bartender was friendly, but staring at a bare stage 98% of the time really sucked. I kept hearing, wait till after 8, it will get better, but it did not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, at least they, they waited. You, they they gave waited. space to, to masturbate. I bet. <laughs> Jer- uh, Sherry Lee. That sounds like a former Sounds dancer. like she worked there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. A former right, employee Lee. review. All right, Sherry uh, This Lee. place is, in all capitals, <laughs> nasty. You wish the girls kept their clothes yeah. on. The bar staff is terrible, and the management were openly Oh, yeah, she heard. worked there. She yeah. worked there. She worked there. Bragging she mentioned ab- the bar Well, staff. listen to that. Yeah, uh, the staff was heard openly bragging about how they can lie about what is owed through ca- uh, credit cards, and the owner keeps the tips. Yeah, so that's she definitely an She worked insider. there, dude. She yeah. 100% worked there. Uh, this one, zero stars. Then they wrote the number zero. It's and I bleak. quote, you got a jigaboo on the mic that always trying to sing over a the song's jig-a-boo. end. Whoa. Whoa, that's over the top. <laughs> that, is <laughs> that is inappropriate. I don't think Even that Even for counts. me. This is written by Prime Management. I'm he's all left, about being over top. I wonder what far. other reviews he's left because he's left five other reviews and two photos. How many of them have extreme? Racist fucking yeah. words. He goes, Jigaboo. Uh, thinks he's Milly Vanilli or something. Disgusting dancers, terrible bar service. I- <laughs> and the blacks. <laughs> There's so many blacks. He even writes, I had banged a few chicks from there back in 03, oh even God. when there were less brown baggers. But now you what? have some real fat bottom b- uh, boss. Bob, ba, 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 ba. he got yeah he got uh, carried away with his bees uh, there. I want to mm. see what other things. Oh, his he owns a oh, Which one of these guys do you think is not it? the jigger? <laughs> no, <laughs> too fast, too far. <laughs> That's the picture he pulls me. up when people are like, "You're racist." He's like, "No, <laughs> no look, I, look at me." I and know MJ. this guy. I have black friends. Um, I'm assuming it's got to be if this is. It's got to be the guy in the middle. Right, oh that looks like goodness. a guy that would leave that comment. You know what? Probably the guy on the left. You think? Yeah, probably. He yeah. seems too dignified. Nope, those are the Very ones. Very tight pants. Those are the ones dropping the J word. Okay. <laughs> That's a J word man if I've uh, ever seen What are one. the other reviews that he's left? Path to a righteous man is beset on all sides of the inter- holy mother. Wow, that's oh, re- look at him quote quoting a black man. <laughs> 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 racist. Oh, you know, uh, let me see. You be the judge, America. They also run credit card scam here. That's at a C. Nobody who leaves reviews leaves good reviews. Left right. a good one for H and R Block. The lady was caring. Spelled it wrong. C A R. I got a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God he's here. I see you know they don't work at H and R Block. <laughs> I'm 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 uh, condemning the racism. Uh, yeah, we yeah, me too. But it seems what does like Bubba I'm not call it? Or uh, healing through humor. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Go ahead. All right, go pee. I'll read some more v- uh, reviews. This is of Escapes Gentlemen's Club in Pensacola, Florida. I would give zero stars if possible. Bijou Parker writes: The girls are <laughs> fat and ugly. Do not go here. Management is terrible. Avoid at all costs. Joseph Washington left a one-star review. Just wrote Neva, N-E-V-A, again. Uh, Added Swanson, a one-star review. No explanation. We've been uh, through this. We're, we're not strip club guys, you and I. Like, it's not our Speak thing. Speak for yourself. I think I'm going to go to Escape's Gentleman's <laughs> Club and try out for the you DJ position. You, 
Come I'm going to bring this guy who doesn't like the current guy and go, hey, I bet you'll like me a little bit more. Prime management, you would show Kate, up and see me. Kate Link, would Caitlin care if you went to a strip club? No, she would not care. Not I care think we've gone to one together really? before. But not like in like a fun way where she was going to do anything with the girls. It was more yeah, like just she fun. just, she yeah, just to ruin, keep an eye on you. Yeah, ruin the fun time that I could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I think that would be the same way my girl would be. Like She came, but it was like almost uncomfortably, unwillingly yeah, to be it there. wasn't hot whatsoever. Chris, have you ever gone to a strip club with a significant other? Yes. But like, and I she, dated a stripper. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. For how long? Not long. Ooh, how'd that go? Not well. <laughs> There's a reason why they're not together anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it difficult knowing that's what she's going to do at work? No, that's what, I mean, I didn't like her. Oh, so you were just, <laughs> yeah. it was just fun for a little while. Yeah, it was just like, you should always try to date a stripper. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. I mean, apparently I, neither can I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You definitely can't do that. No, I'm not yeah. allowed. I'd li- I have uh, children who would have a very big problem. With that. <laughs> oh, my God. would be very pissed. All right, the final Florida man story, and then uh, I think we'll call it a night. This is, uh, you know, not really a Florida man story because the guy is from Indiana, but he got arrested in Florida. Oh, that fella. That gentleman that I am pulling up on the screen is 57-year-old Romney Christopher Ellis. I hope to look like, like that when I'm 57, man. What, black and have gray hair? Yeah, I mean, that's way better than now. Gum, gum, gum. <laughs> I didn't say words. <laughs> he can't talk. That's way better than uh, I'm going to look at. Let me guess seven. what this that guy That looks did. better than you look now. This guy stole parts from a yellow Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Corvette. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Is that true? It looked like the guy amazing. from the Jigaboo picture. <laughs> that's, that's what I, mean, I know. That's All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is that really true? <laughs> what? That that was a Corvette? Yeah. No, it's not the same guy. Aw. <laughs> Aw. 57-year-old Romney Christopher Ellis did not rob a yellow a Porsche or Corvette. <laughs> he crossed state lines after threatening and mailing a dead rat to an ex and then showed up after four years of continually harassing his ex-wife. He showed up in Florida from Indiana, and the cops arrested him. They say that he mailed a package to his ex-wife containing a dead rat and a black rose. That could have been their thing. Well, here's the weird part. Postal inspectors. That's named my new band, Dead Black. uh, (laughs) 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 I actually like this segment where he 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 tries to talk and he just buzzes. Yeah. My <laughs> band's called Dead Black Black. <laughs> blue blah. We are Dead Black Black. Blue blah. Blue blah. Blue blah. Blue blah. Uh, the man, uh, postal I inspectors, try. executed a search warrant at his Indianapolis home. I did not know that postal inspectors had the same authority as the police where they could show up with a search warrant and go through your home. But they did, and they found... Uh, a handwritten note containing the names and addresses of the victim and the victim's family and friends. Authorities said Ellis threatened to decapitate and set the victim on fire. He also routinely made racially and sexually charged statements in text messages, including sending sexually explicit images of himself. At times, Ellis sent text messages stating that he had uh, traveled from Indiana to Florida to see the victim. Again, arrested and charged. Uh, he's been sentenced to four years and ten months in federal prison after mailing the dead rat to his ex-wife. Say what you want about him, man, but he doesn't steal beef. So <laughs> he's all right here. in my book. You know what? Yeah, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> could there, be way worse. Uh, yeah. He there, could be a ginger that steals <laughs> from ra- Dunellen. Steals hamburger. <laughs> Final Florida man story, oh, and then we'll wrap good. this up. That was really good. Uh, this dude, and I love this story. Bravo. I'll just pull it up over Christmas here. <laughs> ah, oh, no, yeah. don't t- show me a video. Check oh, out yeah. this guy. What would you guess that he did? Um, Jesus. Don't read the story around Ooh. it if you can avoid it. Thank I, you, Southwest. I couldn't if I want to, but that guy looks definitely like a child molester. He looks like he th- threw his teeth at someone. <laughs> 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 you win. <laughs> Uh, no, he is Scott Anthony Massa, 51-year-old man out of Tampa. He broke into a home, then tried to throw a bucket full of accelerant uh, into the home uh, and light it. So close. However, he uh, the accelerant ignited, exploded, and set him on fire instead. Nice. Mm. 
Police say the residence was not set on fire and no occupants were injured. Canine units tried to find Massa, but police say the tra- Massa. <laughs> That's his name. It's M- not Mensa. M A S S A. Massa. All right. What are you implying? Massa. <laughs> oh my god It's the way you said I'm gonna turn his I mic off at this point Police K-9 units tried I to find Massa <laughs> But Massa Massa? <laughs> jumped in a again. car Alright uh, The trail was lost after he got into a vehicle and drove away After Massa's description Including his injuries <laughs> was brought to, your head no. to all <laughs> officers all An officer working extra duty At St. Joseph Hospital Detained Massa When he showed up to the facility <laughs> With obvious injuries Massa, Massa Shut up Shut the fuck uh, up you said, ex- you said extra duty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said duty. Uh, when Massa like, was taken to Gem- Tampa General Hospital's mm. burn unit, his vehicle was impounded, according to the this Tampa Police too- Department. Arson investigators are trying to determine appropriate charges. He remains in the hospital. So. Luckily, there were no penises inside at the time. <laughs> All right. You can really add that to any news. TikTok around yep. the clock. Or, or a fortune cookie. <laughs> I think that's what you should add at the end of the fortune cookie. Well, when they pull it out, it just says... It says, Thanks. good luck and fortune will come your way. <laughs> Luckily, there are no penises, penises involved. involved. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, and with that, we'll end tonight's show. Uh, Why should we end like I that? think we should get another gem from Tom's. <laughs> no, we I don't think not. He's <laughs> capable because of I don't English know language. what a gem is. I just say weird things, and sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Hello to Granny Loves Anal in the Twitch chat, as well as Aerie oh, Sweet. Granny thank loves- you. Yes, I know. These are the people that follow this nonsense and watch it all the way through. So <laughs> thank you for doing so. Uh, Chris Machado, anything that you would like to promote? Nope. No website. Oh, what? No, you Nothing. got gigs. Nope. Nope. So you had a gig at the laughing. Uh, Thomas, uh, uh, I gigs, but you know what? I don't want any of these granny anal people. <laughs> yeah. Can Thomas, can you plug your last time ever being on the couch as a co-host? <laughs> It was good while it lasted. We had a good run, boys. Yes. Uh, I will be live at Vasani's on Friday night for Rob Smiles. Can you tell Eric to message me? Back? I will. I'll be there. Yeah, I, I like Eric. He's a good dude. He's oh, the Eric's owner the of Vasani's. So I'll be there and Friday I really night. Hope this isn't my last time. 8 p.m. We'll discuss. <laughs> we have to go through contract negotiations now Let's that I know you have for to your job plans. while you're working. Yeah. Please don't fire me. Fire. You're not even getting paid. You didn't like the. B- 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 <laughs> I gotta be well, honest. Isn't that if you get so drunk that you can't even put together I really words had every words time, words to say. I just was. Yeah, not and then words. listen. If you're like a drunk that if you're cool with when I shut the mic off, you shut the fuck up and just sit there. I'm cool with having you wasted every time. I'd be completely fine with that. But if you show up and continue with this nonsense. Oh uh, yeah yeah. Um, Thursday night or Friday night Vasani, Saturday night Laughing Comedy Cafe. J.F. Harris will be featuring I the headliner's name escapes me but I'm sure it'll be a fantastic show <laughs> College Parkway early show Saturday night I believe it's at 6 or 7 or 8 so I hope to see you there and we, if you find my bike if you see yes. a motorized bike yeah bring it back in the cape that is without motor yeah a, a demotorized motorized but then bike. they have no way of black, getting a hold of you black and electric blue because you're not on social media that's true and I will beat up if you can find the guy who stole Chris Machado's bike. I will be there. And we're going to end the show. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>